Hello everyone, welcome to another Battle Report and today we are back with the Napoleonics. It's, it's been a while since there's been a Napoleonic Battle Report on the channel, but we are not playing Black Powder today. Today we are playing Soldiers of Napoleon by Warwick Kinraid, published by Artorius Games. This is a game that both Robin and I have wanted to play for quite a long time since it came out, but uh, we just never seem to have got the chance, but we decided the hell with it, we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. So, we've both read the rule book a couple of times, and in theory... We know we're doing-ish. Yeah, um, so we'll see what happens. We are playing a smallish game, not the smallest size game. We've got three brigades aside, but we'll run through that all in a minute. Um, and we're just really eager to see how these mechanics work. So this may be a little bit rough and ready, this video. Uh, this isn't going to be a how to play because... It's we're... almost us trying it out to learn how to play a little bit. Yeah, it? so there will probably be mistakes. There will probably be things we get wrong in the start of the game that hopefully we got right by the end of the game. But hopefully what this will do, hopefully we're going to enjoy this and we, we carry on playing it after this. If we hate it, we'll probably just never play it again. Um, but hopefully by the end of this, we'll be then able to set up ready for another game and you know we, we'll, we'll make less mistakes. Um, so what we've done, as you can see, we have already deployed. We've already gone through the pre-game pre sequence. We thought that for this battle, it would just make more sense to, to get everything ready. Now, much to what I imagine is going to be some people's disappointment, I am playing the British because I'm not playing Haley, and therefore um, I can have the 95th Rifles on my side and they are over there. Um, you'll see them hiding in the long grass. Robin is playing the... I am the French. You are the French. You are the French. Did you say this is your first Napoleonic battle? Yeah. Ever? Yes. After multiple attempts at collecting armies, multiple okay. half armies, multiple so... rooms. Yeah, let's see how that goes. So, as you can see, some fairly simple brigades. We'll roll through what we have. Um, and, uh, yeah, well, in fact, should, should we just sort of get on with that, I suppose? Um, we're both playing this from the army list of the 7th Coalition. Uh, the army lists are in the video description below, so we're not going to run through points and everything like that. We'll just let you know, guys, know what the total points are. But if you want to see sort of what the options are we took just have a look in the video description there's also links to the gripping beast website where you can get the rules and everything like that as well um robin why don't you roll through what you've got over on your side and then we'll explain about deployment setup yep. and all of that infantry brigade with one unit of veteran infantry three units of regular line infantry a two and a two cannon battery and with a brigade commander and in the center same again but slightly smaller just three units of line infantry and a two cannon battery. That's my divisional commander. And then a, uh, a cavalry brigade of lancers and chevaliers. Yep. Yeah. Chasseurs. Yeah. Chasseurs. Are they both? Yeah. Chasseurs. Chasseurs. Yeah. Chasseurs. Chasseurs. Chasseurs are cheval. Yeah. That's um, the last one. And they give you your little scout bonus yeah. that you, uh, you got. Um, okay. And what total points is that? For so that the, comes uh, to 532 and a morale value, which is obviously what's important for the victory side of things of 16. Okay, over on the British side, um, I've only got two brigades on the table at the minute because one of them has to start in reserve. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll come to that. But I have a Hanoverian Landwehr brigade here and we have four um, battalions of Hanoverian Landwehr infantry, a single cannon and a brigade commander there. Uh, my divisional commander is, is back here with his aide de camp, just chilling out. And then we have a, a, a sort of chunkier brigade over here. We have two units of British line. That's the 32nd and the 69th uh, brigade commander, two cannons. We have uh, a unit of the King's Own. They're just basic line. And then these Highlanders are a veteran um, line infantry unit, and they have a detachment of rifles with them. So we're going to come on to skirmishes in this game, in this a little bit later, because you deploy them. They, they, they don't run around doing their own thing. They kind of deploy just ahead of your units. Um, the rifles, essentially, unless they're in a, a sort of their own battalion, they just attach themselves uh, to a unit and just give skirmish fire in front of that unit. My additional uh, brigade is um, two units of heavy dragoons, but because they're heavy dragoons, they are a reserve brigade, and so do not start on the table at the start of the game. I've had to roll to see which end phase I can test in to see that they arrive, and they can arrive 
in the fourth end phase, but there may be situational things and events that change that. Um, I suppose we should probably just quickly talk about de deployment because you select a deployment plan, but before you could select a deployment plan, we had to see who had the tactical advantage. So for the tactical advantage, you had to roll 2d6 and then add some modifiers. So um, those modifiers include things like how many of the units in your army have the scout ability, what is the uh, the operational um, ability of your army at that time period, yeah. um, and so on and so forth. So for the British, they have one unit with the scout ability, and that's actually the detachment of rifles. And the British army list, or the Anglo allied list at this point, has plus one for its operational ability. So I had a plus two modifier. Robin... Um, so at this point, the French are no modifier to their operational um, ability. Obviously, you get one of the earlier books. They've got a much, yeah, a much higher value. And I just had a scout, um, one one value of scouting with my lancers. So, so I the British won. Plus one. And you, yeah, won, you won the role. The British won the role, which let me decide on the side. Um, side now there is a train generator. Um, or you can just mutually set it up, which is which is what we've done here. And we hope you like the battlefield. We've got this sort of extended crossroads going on, uh, sort of small uh, farm there um, with the haystacks, lots of open ground for the uh, the line battalions to move through. And then these two fields over here with a little bit of a sunken road going through it and um, some woodland. These single trees, we're just saying, they're just there to look yeah. pretty. The only areas of actual sort of woodland are um, up here on this hill and then sort of over there um, in Robin's center. These bits over here and the walls are now obviously they're sort of hard cover and, um, and oh, obstacles. Oh. The bits of greenery at the edges here where we've just put lichen, they are not actually obstacles. You can move through those freely. It's only where there's actually walls or these um, sort of half hedgerow, half stone wall um, pieces there. Um, so after we set up the table, it was time to, to pick our deployment plans. Now, because I only have two brigades, I can only select the two abreast um, deployment plan. So I get half the board for that um, brigade and half the board for this brigade. Robin, what did you pick? So I went with echelon right, which allowed me to, so my side then split into three because I'm deploying three brigades and it's a slightly staggered deployment. So it's a third of the board forward on this side, which just is my right, it's probably your left actually, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so 16 inches forward, then 12 inches forward in the middle and then 8 inches forward on the left. There's a lot of interesting deployment things. It'd be quite interesting to see how they work with different compositions, things like that. Yeah. The screen one looks really I interesting. I like it that you could have potentially brought your cavalry really far, really far up forward, the field. Yeah. Um, so you're very heavy on, on your right, um, which, will be, which will be interesting. It's worth noting you've also had to say where, well, secretly, you've noted where your yep. cavalry are coming as well. Yep, um, I have, and uh, I will, um, I'll flash that up on the screen now. I know where the cavalry are coming, so I had to say left, center, or right. I'll flash that up on the screen now. Robin doesn't know where that's coming. Um, so on the fourth turn, or the fourth end phase, I can roll to see if they turn up, and that's where they will arrive. But, then, as I say, there may be cards that let me play something that means that I can change that, um, or move things around a little bit. Um, so, uh, after we've done that, we have generated command points for our division commanders um, because I had the tactical advantage I got a plus one and it's d3 plus one and I ended up with three that's what the little yellow dice is Robin got a d3 and you ended up with I ended up with three as well rolled a yeah. six and so there's his well. divisional commander in there um, as well so these command points can be used in the game to do things like re-rolls um, and, and you can add an extra card to your hand on that yeah, yeah. and that's, that's basically that's it. it there's not a massive amount you can do with them they're just an extra bonus it's a finite resource as well that doesn't you don't get that back each turn that's so I, we've both got three points for the entire in for the entire game so the only thing left to do before we start really is uh just to say um we need to deal out our starting hands now we will we'll show quick the anatomy of a card um after we've dealt our hands so we can just show you what an example is you have to remove d6 cards from the deck secretly which we've done um, and um, and then we'll get on with it. You receive two cards in your hand, plus one for each brigade commander on the board, and plus one if your divisional commander is on the board. So my starting hand will be five, 
Robin's starting hand will be... I'll be six because I've got all three brigade commanders That's it. So, and my divisional commander. So it's worth noting here that Robin's Robin's got cost more points, but he's got slightly less morale value than me. Oh, he's got one less. So yep. I've got a morale value of, uh, what was it? 17. 17. 17. Oh, and essentially what the way this works is when the enemy victory points equal your morale value, that's game over. Um, your army's essentially broken. Right then, we'll get these uh, starting hands dealt out, quickly run through the anatomy of a card, um, and then we'll get on with the battle. Okay, so this is an example of a order card. This is one of the ones that we aren't using in this game, but we've just picked out. Robin, do you want to just roll through um, what each of these things mean? Yeah, so at the top, the big number in the circle is the number of orders that card gives you. So when you play that on a brigade, that's the number of orders that your brigade commander is going to be able to issue. And obviously it'll come up in the game, but some order, some units may take more orders to command because they might be further away, etc. So if I got this and it was, it, I had three three orders and we were looking at my my brigade here, he's got four units, so one of those guys is not going to receive something to do. Exactly. Um, then just below that, you have a special event, which will be a description of something you can do. So in this case, what have we got? At the gallop. gallop. So it says, play on two cavalry regiments that are seasoned, professional or elite. That'll be on their profile. The units are both given at act the quick order, but gain no disruption from this move. So let's you do something a little bit different. Um, what does the, um, the number in the brackets mean? So here it says two plus. So that is the number that lets you play another card potentially okay. after that special event. So you roll a dice if you equal or beat that number. So is it six plus or yeah. oh, two plus on this one? Then you can play another card straight away. So there is an element of being able to chain orders one after the other so if i had this card for example i so i if i rolled a three i could then play that card from my hand and i could play that for its order value its special order yeah however i want but you only get the you can only use the chaining ability if you play the special yeah. ability okay and i think there's obviously a, a balance in the cards where the orders that have the cards that have the most orders on <laughs> yeah. to have the abilities that are the harder then to chain after. That makes sense. And finally, what does this mean down the bottom where it just says rally so plus you can, one VP? Any card you can use to, well, actually most of the cards you can use to rally orders. It tells you the troops that you can do it based on, based on their training. So this one would rally seasoned professional or elite yeah, troops. Yeah, so your new raised troops will be able to rally with that. And it also shows how many victory points you're going to give away to the enemy by playing that card. <laughs> right, okay. Um, the way that it works in this game, casualties are essentially called disruption in this game. So you're going to see the red gems put down, that's disruption. If at the end of the turn you have more disruption on a unit than you have bases, that unit's gone. So when you rally, you can do things like rally around the colours to try and remove D3, um, I think it is, points of disruption, or sacrifice a base to get rid of two for definite. It's... See it's really interesting because obviously we won't explain how the whole game works. Because I wasn't no. for now, but it's base removal, but not base removal in reaction to shooting or combat like you would with most games. It's about redressing your ranks, and now your frontage is smaller because half of you are bodies and yeah. not walking. I think it's interesting, and just you know, we'll get into it now. But really, the idea that you know it's the general choosing to reduce to take an accepted yeah. number of casualties rather than a random number of casualties and. Yeah, I think it's, um, well, I'm looking looking forward to it. So we have our starting hands. It's the British to go for because they had the tactical advantage. So uh, we'll get into it. This is Soldiers of Napoleon, Battle 1, Turn 1. Okay, so it's um, me to go first, and I've selected this card here, and I'm just going to keep things simple, and I'm going to use the three orders. I'm going to issue this card to my Hanoverian Brigade Commander, so he's got three orders to um, dish out. Now, Robin, did you say, have I got to do announce all of these orders or can I do it one at a time? No, because it says you can play them in any order, so. Okay, well, well I'm gonna issue my first order to uh, these Hanoverians uh, at the front here. I just want them to make a march. Now, uh, they are in line, so that means they move four inches, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, so they are gonna be moving down. Would you mind just shuffling that base forward for me? Thank you very much, yeah. that's fantastic. Um, I'll issue another order to this unit uh, that's next to them, so they will, uh, they'll also go four inches and that, so a little bit of an advance. Hanoverians always do well in black powder, so I'm hoping they do just as well here. Um, and I think what I'll do, now you said there's pre-measuring at any time? Yep. Okay, so, and what's the range on my nine pounder? So I should say that I've got 
nine pounders and um, Robin has uh, 12 pounders. <laughs> Uh, 40 inches. 40 inches, okay, so this is still pretty. So we can say that your uh, unit there is in range? Yep, so you're going to... Fantastic. So I would like to issue a it's a bombard uh, order, isn't it? If you it are, is for... If you are cavalry, so any deployed artillery unit may fire. So I would like to shoot with my 9-pounder at that unit that's poking its head out there, please. Okay, so when you shoot or you do tests in this game, like, like melee, it's based on dice pools. So when you uh, shoot a cannon, you get a base number of dice equal to the number of cannons in the battery, so in this case one, and you get some situational modifiers as well. In this case, because my, um, uh, my cannon's in impeccable order, it's not got any disruption um, and they're not disordered, I get to add a dice. Um, there are other things as well, if I was shooting at a unit that's in column or behind cover and, and all of these type of things. Um, so I, there is no modifier for range, is there? Nope. Um, so I'll be getting two dice. Now the cannon's um, firing ability is five plus. So I've got two dice hitting on fives. Although Robin's just pointed out that the British ha can fire shrapnel rounds. So how's that work? So if you're if the unit you're firing at didn't move on the last card played, which obviously it didn't because I haven't moved anything yet, you can fire a shrapnel round instead. And all it does is it reduces your to hit number from a five plus to a four plus. Well, I might as well do that. And so I get two dice hitting on fours. Yep. All right, fours. And we're off to a great start. At least cannons don't blow up in this. Okay, so that's the end of, of that um, that orders phase. So then what I can do uh, there is you now move him up to 10 inches. It's, everything in the book is in paces, by the way, because it's obviously scale agnostic. We're taking one pace to be one inch. Um, so I will, he'll move slightly forward. And then that's when we grab our aid to comp. Could I have used that reroll on my shooting rolls? You could actually. Oh, okay. Hmm. I won't this time, but you, can you? Would it be one point to reroll both dice, or uh, you can only reroll one dice? Uh, okay. So what you do now is you get your aide de camp model and you move him to show that this was the last chap who was who was ordered. So that is the end of my first set of orders. Um, the card goes in the discard pile. Once you are out of cards in your action deck, you reshuffle it, but you remove some cards, don't you? Roll and remove some yeah. cards. And if you ever run out of cards, that's it. The battle's over. Yeah, and obviously we're doing one inch is one pace, but if the French win, it'll change to 25 millimetres. So. <laughs> right, well, I have to win. <laughs> I must win. Right. On that, on that toast, it's over to Robin to play his card. Okay, so it's Robin to, uh, to play. So on this brigade commander, I'm playing four orders just for the number of orders. Yep. All the events all seem really good. <laughs> I know. I've, but, I've been looking at some of mine and I really want to do them, but I kind of thought stuff I needs to, to move. Some stuff. And my first order... Oh, I actually need to check the range because I'm slightly more dispersed than you. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so um, uh, in other games as well, similar to this, if your commander is further away from um, some of the units in his brigade, it costs him more orders. So if you're up to 10 inches, it costs one order, and then 11 to 20 inches, uh, it costs you two so orders. I am just with, on the cusp of within 10 inches, but so it's still only going to be one order. Okay. So for my first order, I'm just going to move these. And because these are in... Um, whether you want to call it assault column or battalion mass or they go six, they go six. They move slightly quicker. They're the veteran unit, aren't they? The they chap are. with the horse at the uh, at the front. Well, so they shoot less effectively because they're only shooting. Yeah. There. I'm going to do another order to do the same thing again there. Yep. And another one there. And then my last order is going to be a bombard order with the cannon. You're going to do the same, aren't you? Yeah. At your Highlanders behind the walls. Okay, so, I mean, you are up on the hill, so I, was, I would argue that, that yeah. those little low walls, because we said it's a sunken road, so yeah. you're firing over the top of that. So you're gonna get one dice for each of the cannons, and then plus one because you're in, in good order. Okay. So you're gonna get three dice hitting on, what's your the sort of firing ability of your cannon crews? So my cannon. Five plus, so three dice hitting on fives. Okay, so hitting on fives. Nothing. These cannonballs are just whizzing <laughs> across yeah. the battlefield. So that's that's it now for your thing. You've got to yeah. pop your so aide de camp over I, there. And I am going to move him, because otherwise I know I'm going to be... Yeah. Uh, you can move through your um, brigade stands and that. With your brigade commander freely. Yeah. Okay. Myself. Right then, my turn to play a card. Right, so my turn to play a card. I'm going to play this card, and I'm going to use the special event, Artillery Bombards. Oh, the foot artillery's larger guns deployed further back off table or on a flank are firing onto this tabletop. Pick a single enemy infantry or cavalry unit in the open, not within 10 paces of a friendly unit. Roll five dice 
Any five score a hit, the target gains one point of disruption for each hit. So I am going to pick your veteran unit at the front here um, because I don't like them very much. So I'm going to get to roll five dice and any fives cause a point of disruption. Okay, so I'm looking for fives. Uh, two. So they've taken two points of disruption. There you go, Robin. So it's worth saying in this that um, there are saves, but not against artillery. So he just takes those two hits. Um, otherwise, every unit has a discipline rating, um, and you would essentially roll a save on that. But you only ever roll one save, don't you? So if you've taken three hits, for example, you only roll one dice to reduce or the you disruption. Can reduce it, yeah. You can't. You always take a certain amount. Um, that's. I'm and now going. So I'm. We're just saying this. I need to have actually issued this to a commander, yeah? yeah? So I'll have issued it to him because he's not moving anyone, so it's not going to put disruption on them. But now I get to roll to see if I can do play another card. So if I roll a five or more, I can play another card. And that can be either for its special ability or its command values. No, I can't. So now we're over to Robin. All right, Robin, what are you doing? So I'm playing a four-order card on... This brigade commander in the centre. Yep. I want to get that lot moving. So get this lot moving up. Uh, it gives me four orders. Okay. So I will just use my first order. I'm actually going to issue a march at the quick order mm -hmm. on these ones, which lets them move basically one and a half rates. So, so I get eight. They're going eight. Eight in nine inches. Nine inches. Yeah. Oh yes, because it's six. And then they I gain disruption. Take a point of disruption. Oh yeah, so we should probably say that all the units on this table are in are count as four stands. Okay, um, when you're building your armies, you're buying stands for units. It's usually between four and six. However, <laughs> because I when I initially started my Napoleonics, the initial units I did, I mixed stands of four and two because I don't know why. So. For the sake of argument, everything on here is in forces except the cavalry regiments, which are in stands of six. They're large, they're large regiments. Right, and my next order. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to move them now. They're going to be crossing this large wall. Yeah. Which we count. We do. I think we just count it as an obstacle because there is a gate in it. And there is a gate, so they come. They, they come out that way. Deployment. So, it's, so I'll lose D three. Yeah. Uh, from your movement. Yeah. So are you issuing it at the? Quick, or are you just doing uh, a normal? A normal. Normal thing, so it's six inches normally. You're going five inches. Five inches. Enough to clear the... So yeah, so they're essentially the back of the units. Gonna... They just exited the, yeah, the farm. Do. Excellent. Order, I'm just going to move these up to the wall yep. so they can cross it next time. Last order, so I'm on a hill. Yeah. Can I fire... I don't know, I'm going to have to check the rules for where you can fire the top of your own troops. That might be unpopular. We're obscured because of the, the tree and, and them. I know we said that the tree doesn't count, though. Oh, whatever. This is, do you want to say they're obscured? Uh, it, makes sense, it makes sense to me because it says any kind of soft cover. And I'm firing over my own unit. It doesn't say you can't. But I like it that you're thinking of your units as soft cover. <laughs> well, they are. They're soft cover for the artillery. <laughs> no. I'm not oh. unlucky. Is there ammo in this or can we just keep firing? So there is events. Oh. Ammo. oh, okay. So if I issue some orders again, the, the, back, the artillery can fire again. Yep. Okay, but there is things that they can muck up. Okay, uh, do you want to move your commander at all? He gets a 10-inch uh, yeah. move, doesn't he? Okay, so over to me, yeah? Yep. Well, I'm going to play this card for six orders, um, and I'm going to play it to this brigade commander down here, um, and hopefully I'll have a lot to do. Now, just to confirm, I've only got five units in the here. Six order will just be wasted. It's just gone. Okay, so I, but essentially I can do something with everything. But it's not a move, there is no firing um, order in here, is there? I mean, so firing step. So no. it's either you move or you shoot. And if you want to shoot, you can't do it. So could I move and then issue another order shoot? But shoot? So, no, every unit can only receive one order from that card. Okay. So you can play subsequent cards on the same game. That add disruption. Potentially. Oh, okay. And it's measure at any time, isn't it? Yeah. And what's the range of a musket? Ten. Ten? Ten. What's the range of a rifle? Fifteen. Uh well, if you're in skir if you're in skirmish fire, it's twenty. Right. Okay, so ten for a musket. Right, we're gonna be doing some moving. Uh <laughs> And then skirmish fire from rifles, yeah, will be quite a long way. Okay, well, I'm going to issue a move order to uh, this line at the front. So I'm in line. Um, there's no, I've got no problems. So just four inch move. Mind just shoveling forward. He's just up to that little uh, sort of 
bit of scrub. Um, yeah, there we go. Thank you. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to issue. I'll issue a move order over here. Now the skirmishers, they they just go. For, they don't. They just move. They're not in, they're, in front of the body. They're just part of that unit. Okay, so I've got a four inch move. If you were just starting out and had my model, you could literally just put a marker down that said skirmishes. It doesn't have to. Oh, that's cool. Or just a random base. Or just one yeah, model. One, one do, or some counters. Yeah. Um, so e so I would lose D3 uh, inches moving over that obstacle. So I'm never going to make it. So, so move I'll move over it. So the skirmishes go in the road. Now, when I do skirmish fire, you measure just from the skirmishes, don't you? And that, how many inches do they go out ahead of the unit? Um, Is it actually like a set amount? Roughly four to eight paces. Oh, okay. So it's quite a thing. However, it doesn't matter. It's what it says. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, look, in that case, then I'm going to uh, put them at the wall because um, yes, it, looks cool. it looks fun. And there we go. So the 95th rifles are in the sunken road. Okay, so that was my second order. My third order, I'm going to issue a uh, artillery bombard yeah. command at that um, this unit here. So I get... Two dice for standard for being for one cannon each, yeah. plus one for being in good order. Yeah, you can't use shrapnel on because I moved on the. Last, yeah, that's it. Oh no, I didn't on the last card played. Is it the last card played? The last oh, card so played. you did. So I, the last card played was Shrap, shrap shrapnel. It is. Yeah. Uh, so that's three dice hitting on fours. All right, come on. Uh, one point of disruption. You can't save it. So shrapnel goes smashing into uh, that unit of French. All right, my next order, um, the King Zone here are just going to move up behind the Highlanders. I don't actually know if there's any kind of supporting combat or anything like that, but we'll uh, we'll see. So that was my fourth order. My fifth order will be um, that the 69th will move up there four inches behind. And then I haven't got anything to issue my sixth order to. Um, let me just check um, that I'm still within 10 inches of everything with my commander. I believe I am. Well, just. Um, he is going to scoot up into a corner of the field. So he's a little bit nearer sort of everything else. Um, and that's it, Robin. That's the end of my uh, That's the end of my turn. Go with the cavalry. Oh, no, no. Here we go. It's charging time. Quite charging time yet, but I am going to be moving. Moving. The Are cavalry. you playing it for orders? I'm playing or? it for orders. So how many? Oh, so four. So, four. so I'll obviously have another sort of thing. I just need to check how far. So I have light cavalry, don't I? Yes, they're both lights. And they are in. Yes, uh, two, I guess it's a it's two ranks deep. Yeah. So, so that's. I mean, that's far enough. That's twelve inches. Okay. So that one will cost me two orders anyway. Yeah. Because they're more than ten inches away from. From your commander, okay, commander. but you've you've got four, yes. so so it's fine. So, Sorry. so twelve for them. Oh. So this is they're going to need seven disruption before they're sent packing. Here they come. Here's the uh, chasseurs of cheval. Uh, the, these are Italians, that, uh, because they're the only ones I've painted, or the only ones I could find, anyway. Film might be your plan all along. Um, um, maybe. Right, and then these are going to be moving as well. Yeah. However, they're going to hit an obstacle. Aren't they? I kind of feel like they're just going to vault over it. Well, to be light cavalry, yeah, or, or sorry, light infantry or any cavalry only lose one inch of move or one pace. Oh, okay, so they're going eleven inches. Yeah, so they've just vaulted. So they're the back of it. So the back, yeah. the back units against the wall. Yeah. Uh, the back of the units against the wall. Okay, yeah. cool. And I will be moving my. I take it forming square is a thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, maneuver. There's. Do I? Do I? Can I do? Do you have charge responses in this game? Uh. No, so you'd have to kind of plan ahead. Oh, you're joking. Um, <laughs> and I actually don't think cavalry can... Eat it. We'll figure that, that out. Um, what's uh, not not... Well, I guess it is Marshall Ney, but what's he doing? He's, right, yeah. oh, I needed to put my uh, aide de comp yep, over, over there. Uh, so there he goes. Um, so over to me. So I am... So I will now order a... Sorry, I just want don't interrupt because I started with more cards than you. Yeah. If you wish, because I've got one more card. If oh, you right. wish to at any point, you can pass. Oh, great! Pass. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna play for six orders. On. This brigade. Yeah. Now, you're gonna anything you order in here is gonna be getting disruption, isn't it? Because he's no. already been. No, no, because it's consecutive. Oh, it's so a, that's, oh, that's so it's not. That's why we move the ADC. Right, I see. Okay. So, so we move the ADC marker. 
so that we know who which brigade activated. The Got last. it. Right. So it's it's not a. So it's if, just if if they're the one who immediately. So if you if you stagger it, you're fine. Yeah. So if you go one two three one two. Oh, three, okay. Cool. One, two. Excellent. You're gonna move. You're gonna. Let's go start with the brutal artillery fire because then we know what we're doing. Brutal so, artillery fire. Artillery fire at your uh, Highlanders behind the wall. Dad, does that count as hard cover now? Yeah, Being... so especially because they're next to it, we'll give them that. So, so that'll be minus two dice. Are they obscured as well, is it? Yeah, because is they're, it... they're behind a piece of cover. So it's one dice for it being something in the way, the wall, and another yeah. dice because that wall is hard cover. Uh, but for artillery bombardments, it's only minus one if it's uh, oh, canister sorry, yeah. versus hard cover. So it's not. So I don't think hard cover counts as a... Um, it says here... Modifiers, you first of all, you get oh, two so, dice, yeah. you're impeccable, so that makes it um, for it. Oh, hang on, let me just show everyone what the yeah. uh, sorry, guys. Um, so here, so you can see, look, um, base dice is a number of guns that you've got, so he's got two dice, he's in impeccable order, that makes it three. Um, his target, the target is obscured, which will make it minus one, so he's down to two. Um, the artillery bombardment is nothing for being in hard cover. Where if you have a look here yeah, at sorry. volley fire, it's minus one for hard it's cover. Just canister is less effective. Yeah. So so essentially, uh, light cover just means obscured. So if you're behind a hedge, you're obscured. You're yeah. not right. Okay. So you're at minus one. So you got two dice hitting on five. Uh-huh. A six. So Disorder. No. <laughs> um, and there's no saves. No saves against artillery. All of our stuff has been, but I suppose it would be. Artillery seems to be a little bit more effective already. I'm, I'm noticing in uh, in this. Uh, okay, so there we go. So that was your first, first order. order. So then I am going to. I'm going to deploy skirmishers as well from this unit. Yeah, so that's so one order. Change formation. So you lose a base. Yeah. And, and my skirmish value, I believe, is only one. Yeah. So, so should we just remove a base? I'll put two figures out. I I'll let you just put those in the back of that. Oh, no, right. You have to kind of dig them in. Oh, you're using the engineers. So, mad, mad guy of an axe. I'm also going to then put skirmishers out with this unit. Okay. Right. Then I can't move through my own unit. So, I will. I'll just move these, move these up. Yeah. Okay. So, he, what do we do with him? You said he could move he, freely through. Yeah, he people. can move freely through. There is a section of his penetration. Okay. So, what are you going to do? He's going to move, so how does it work? Yeah, so I'm just going to displace him. Yeah, what happened? He just... I'll just put him there. Right, what's next? Uh, that is... That was... Hang on, so one, two, four. three, that's four, yeah. And there's not a lot I can do with them. I don't really want to start walking through my own unit. No. Uh, so I'll just move my commander and end the... Okay. I'll put him there. And then we're back to me. Now I can't pass, can I? Because we have the same number same of cards. Card, yeah. Right, I'll, uh, I'll pick something to play. Right, so it was my brigade over there that went last time. So I will play six orders onto um, my brigade here. I was considering doing the reserve redeployment here, um, which would let me see if they come in earlier. But I want to put some volleys into your um, into your cavalry. So oh no, I can't. Oh god, I keep on, I keep on thinking. You're thinking you're going to move. And I'm going to move and then shoot. And I'm definitely not. Um, so well, right, it's the event card then. Oh, it might be. Yeah. Um, Would you want to form square? Yeah, I mean, I could form square and then march these guys up. Um, okay, no, I'm. I actually no, I'm going to keep the orders. I'm going to keep the orders. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. So I am going to just do. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and be gutsy here and rely on that you're not going to do very well. Um, so I'm initially going to move this unit four inches. And down, so if you could just move me um, just uh, just before the road. Um, then this unit here. Now they can shuffle one base width along, can't yeah, they? they can so essentially, one. like that. Yeah. Um, and then they're going to go four. So they are level because they've just moved the same as the other yeah. as the other unit. Um, my cannon is going to fire at your unit here. Um, I. They haven't been again, have they? So I can use shrapnel. You can shrapnel. I can shrapnel. So I'm going to get two dice hitting on fours. That's uh, two. Hit, so so I can't two. Save anything. Nope. So that's blasted them. Still got three orders to go. Right. I will order. Um, um, these guys are going to move up four, and the guys behind are going to move up yep. four as as well. Robin, would you mind just popping him on the edge? I know it's, it's one of those irritating hell. ones. Um, so here we go.
Does that count for the artillery? Yeah, a bombard. Oh, so he's still going to take that many orders, isn't he, to do it? So if he's too far away now... Uh, yeah, so that would have been... That would have been two, two orders. orders. Yeah, which is fine, because you've, yeah. you've got five units. Yeah. There. So that would have been two orders um, to uh, get the, the cannon to fire, because he's uh, that far away from my, um, my commander. So where do I put my commander? That's a big question. I think keeping him where he is for the second is probably a good idea. Okay, Robin. Right, okay, I... I really want to go again with them, but I can't afford to. Oh, I need to shift my aid to comp. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to come back to the middle. Yep. No, I'll go with four orders in the middle. Okay. And we'll go for What's your first order going to be? So first order is going to be... Line? On this, in terms of form line and shoot at you better, but I think I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to brave well, Considering what the ranges are in this, it's... Uh... A cunning plan. Okay. Uh, right, and then I'm going to give them a move order. Yep. With everybody. I've realised my cunning plan I may no longer do, because it's not as cunning as I thought it was. So that's two orders. Right, then I'm going to fire. Same, across, same across as before. Because we'll they're on the lee of the hill, wherever it is. I'm, they're on a slope, I'm going to yeah, fire. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So... We, Two dice then, so because the count is obscured. Yeah. So two dice, so it'd be two dice for the guns, plus one for being in good order, minus one for obscured. Yeah. No. Oh, right, one disruption. One disruption. Uh, right, and then I'm going. Oh, I'm just going to bring them out of there. So. Yep. I'm, my, I'm losing, losing D3 on. So I'm losing three. But that's enough to. So they've got movement at six, haven't they? Yeah, so, yeah. so, so yeah, so they're, like the other ones, they're just yeah. outside, aren't they? Excellent. Right then, um, I'll just let Robin do that, and then um, we'll go into, I'll pick a card. Okay, so my last card, uh, I've got a two. It was an objective card. Um, essentially, I could have played a Grand Assault, and if I'd have got four units into melee and four, four separate melees by the end of the turn, I'd have gained D3, no, D6 plus three victory points. Oh, that is a lot of victory points. Especially. Yeah, essentially just, just all out. So I feel like that's for the French. Um, so I'm go. just going to play for two orders and I'm going to play it to my brigade commander here. And my first order is going to be with the Cornwall who are going to volley fire into that unit of, uh, of French that are coming at them. So our first uh, uh, unit of volley fire. So doing volley fire, the way this works is the number of uh, dice is the uh, number of stands. So I'm going to have four dice. I'm in pe I am in impeccable order, so that's going to go up to five. Um, and that's, that's it, just five dice, I believe. Okay, so hitting on fours. Uh, Robin, you take two points of disruption, but now you can make a discipline test to reduce that by one. What yeah. is the discipline of your French line infantry? I'm going to guess four. I'm line infantry, discipline four plus. So this will reduce it by one, won't it? Yep, yeah, so I do so that. So I take. You took one disruption, which means that they are now disordered, aren't they? Because you have um, taken disruption equal to the number of bases you've got. Yeah. So you, we're just going to jiggle up the uh, the bases a bit and put down some uh, some smoke. Okay, so um, my next plan originally was going to be to do some skirmish fire, but I'm not going to do that now because, as Robin has said, he's reduced the number of stands in his unit to put the skirmishes out. So I'm actually going to use my cannons again. So my cannons are going to fire up there. Did they move last, this, this unit? Nope. So I'll, use shrap so I'll use shrapnel. Um, uh, so I've got two dice um, for the two cannons. Um, oh, I'm in good order, so that gives me three shots hitting on fours for the shrapnel. I really need a lot of these to uh, come up here. So hitting on fours. Just one. That's oh, not very good. Okay, um, that's um, that's the end of my uh, my turn. I am now out of cards. So uh, it's just over to Robin. Robin, you've only got one card left. What are you uh, What are you gonna do? I'm gonna get because are oh, you gonna change your plan now? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm gonna rally. So I'm gonna play on the um, centre brigade. So the rally. Can I just have a look? It's the first time we've done it. So the rally. It's going to give me a victory point. Yeah. Now, the frustrating thing, and this is where is I had a, one that was no victory points for the rally. Effectively, it was a yeah. almost free rally. Played it for something else, and now I'm a little bit full of okay. the French word for re regretted. So now you, uh, but, but the thing is you can rally basically any of your, any type of your unit. So you're going to rally this unit at the front here. 
Actually. Is it rally every unit in that brigade or just that individual? It is every unit and there's a little flow chart that you go through. Okay. Okay, so here is the uh, the order he's got to do it in. Now, Robin, I, I assume you, you saw that commander. It's just yeah. going to be on that unit at the They're front, isn't it? So this is a good example then we can see what we do. So first of all, do you, you have to do it in this order. Do you want them to withdraw? I do not. Okay. Do you want them to rally on the colours? Yeah, cause, so rallying on the colours is effectively the free rally. Isn't yeah. It? Because I just roll one dice for every disruption, four in this case. Any sixes would lose the point of a disruption. Okay. Okay, so any sixes here will remove a point of disruption. So one gone. Does that also automatically remove the disorder? Oh, right, okay, so, yeah. No. No, so you lost a casualty. Yep. Um, so the next thing in the list is casualties. Do you want to reduce a stand to get rid of two casualties? So, no, I'm not gonna do that. Do you wish to order the ranks? Yes, yeah, so I'm Make gonna do that. discipline test for good order. Okay, so their discipline is? Four plus. So yeah. a single four plus will put them into good order, but not remove any more casualties. So they're now in good order again. Yep. So we can get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And um, now we need to go into the end step of the turn, don't we? Yep. Are you going to move your commander at all, or is he just going to hang uh, out? No, there? I'm going to keep him where he is. Okay, we'll go into the end step in just a second. Okay, so it's time to run through the end phase. So the first thing we do is to see if any reserves arrive. Um, my reserves can't arrive until turn four, so not even gonna roll. Next, we've got to see if any units are broken. So if anyone had disruption e um, mo uh, sorry, e over the number of remaining stands, they would be broken and victory points would be received. Uh, that's no one has, has got that on the battlefield. There are some additional victory points you can get. So if you've caused, um, if a unit has disruption equal to the number of stands in the unit, um, then you get a victory point. So because Robin removed that, he's denying me a victory point. So there is actually ways to, you know, rack up victory points. I did give you a victory point removing it though. Yeah. But, but at least I'm in good order now for- the But if you'd have rolled and failed, then, um, then I'd have had two. Yeah. Because if you'd have then got rid of a stand, you'd have still had three left. Yeah, so it also means as well, when you, once you rack up that dis disruption, you, you've got to do something before you run out of cards. Absolutely. Uh, then we've got to check for battlefield objectives. Uh, no, because neither of us played any. Uh, we're not playing a core or, de or um, army size game, so we don't use the how goes the day rule. Uh, there's no senior commanders on the board. Uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge if we come to it. Um, and my victory points do not equal Robin's break point, which is 16, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, 16. 16, and I'm on, I'm on one. So we just start the next turn, so we shuffle up. Um, and then for the next turn, we will be doing a tactical roll um, and then adding our um, our uh, operational, uh, our tactical advantage. So I'll be adding two and Robin will be adding one. Yeah. And then whoever does that has initiative. So uh, we'll crack on. Okay, so we just realised we do have to do the How Goes the Day uh, role. So we are part of a, uh, an, a, a core game. So this is to basically see what is happening in the, the wider battle. So we've both got to roll 2d6 and add our tactical advantage modifier. And is it whoever wins this gets to go first in the next turn? If it's a draw, then it... It would be you. Stays with you. Oh, it stays with you. Oh, okay, that's a bit different. Um, importantly, if one of us rolls double what the other one rolls, then they get a victory point. And this represents what's going on in the wider conflict, either side of this part. So we're just one part of a much larger action. So I'm rolling 2d6 and adding two. This isn't good. That's five. At least if you lose, you can claim that you're winning somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Well, uh, <laughs> so you got a result of three. And what did you get? Five, uh, I got five. Which is more than double, so you get a victory point. Oh, no, it's not. No, double, no, it's, it's not. not. I got double your roll. Is it a roll? No, it's it's it? added the tactical. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, which is okay. frustrating. There we go. So it means going I'm going to... first, which is very, very helpful. But I still have one more card than you. because You do. Are. You do. But these guys here are looking very uh, exposed. It's all right. Okay, so it's turn two, and it's the British to go first. Now, I did initially think that maybe I want to do something uh, with the Hanoverians, but I I'm, I'm feel like I like doing something over here. So I am going to play for four orders. Um, I'm not playing a senior officer arrives. Napoleon is not gonna, gonna rock up. So I'm gonna play that on this brigade commander here. Um, and the first order I'm going to issue is to the 32nd Cornwall. Now, does that still roll over? Yeah. So it still rolls over? The disruption will roll over? Yeah, because it's because he was the last one to yeah, act. Yeah, the idea is it's just that right. whilst okay. we look for victories and stuff, there's not really a, a end of a turn as such. It's more just a... I see. Well, that's fine. That's, I'm still going to do that. 
So I'm going to activate the 30 second Cornwall. So they will get a point of disruption um, for this, um, but they're going to fire a volley into um, that unit there. Uh, so I get four dice because I've got four stands plus one for being in impeccable order. So you have a disruption now. I have a disruption. Is it minus one for my disruption? No, it just means you're not in good order anymore. Oh, I, oh, so good order is no disruption at all. Yeah. Okay, got it. So I'm rolling four dice, hitting on fours. All right, looking for fours. Uh, Robin, that's four. Oh dear. So uh, I'll take one you, save. One save of four. On discipline test, no. Okay. So you have taken four disruption. So I'm now on seven. Okay, so those guys are disordered, very much disordered again. Um, and unless Robin can remove a lot of uh, that disruption, they'll be off at the end of his turn, which does seem like a long way off, though, I've got to say. Um, next along, I'm going to issue a bombard order to the cannons. So we're going to fire shrapnel into that unit there. Um, so I'm going to be rolling three dice. You're on fours. Uh, that's two unsavable hits. Okay, so there we go. Now, uh, they're only three stands though, aren't they? Yes. So they are, they're in, they're in trouble as well. They are. Um, I would like to skirmish fire. Oh, you do need to put a point of disruption on your... Oh, I do, don't I? Yes, a point of disruption on my uh, cans. I'll do that in just a second. Um, I would like to issue skirmish fire with these. I'd, and if I can pick a target, I'd like to go for your veterans if I can. Okay, so the rifles um, grant this unit two skirmish fire dice. Now, if this unit deployed its light company as well, the rifles add one to its skirmish value. So if I deployed my, the light company for the uh, veteran infantry, they would have three dice plus one for the rifles is four. The rifles are just two on their own. Now, as I'm firing at a unit that's got a uh, light company deployed, I'm minus one dice. So I'm just going to be rolling one dice. I'm going to be hitting on fours but as their rifles. I get to re-roll for four. That's a, that's a hit, so you're just taking a discipline test. Uh, discipline three for them. Okay, so three or more. Yep, so save that. Okay. With my final order, there isn't really anything else left to do. I've put that disruption on, so uh, that's it, and we're over to Robin. Robin, your turn. So I'm going to be playing for an event this time, a Fierce Cavalry Charge on this brigade, and be specifically on my Lance unit. Uh, fierce Cavalry Charge. A single Cavalry Regiment is given a charge order. The required discipline test is automatically passed. And in the following melee, his plus two bonus dice. Other melee modifiers still apply. This special event may be used for a Cavalry Regiment to charge infantry in square. Now, there's no charge reactions in this, is there? We realise that. You have to make the conscious decision to form square oh, early on. Yeah. I, I do have to roll to see how far I'm moving. Yeah. I mean, realistically, I'm probably going to do it because I get my move. Yeah, which is... Plus the like, highest of 2d6. So 12. I don't know why I rolled them there. Oh, no, get in the tray. Get back in the tray. <laughs> All right, okay, so you're going 18. Yeah, so... Okay, so they smack into them. Now, we've got to work out our uh, our combat pools. So you're getting plus two to whatever else is in here. So let's look at the attacker modifiers. Um, you are a superior quality to me because you are C and I am Militia. So you get one dice per base. You've got six bases. So six dice plus two for your special card is eight plus one for the superior quality. And lances give you plus one shock impact. So you are rolling 10 dice, I believe. Uh, the defenders um, get base, number of dice, number of stands. So I get four dice. That's it. So you have 10 dice, I have four dice. Just to make things uh, even more interesting, my melee with my bayonets is five. So I've got four dice hitting on fives. Robin's attack with the lances is two just for this round. Uh, so I assume is it's lances are just a one-time thing, but uh, he's got ten dice hitting on twos. Yeah. Uh, so defender rolls first to represent closing fire and. Oh, that's oh great. Okay. Oh, it so doesn't make a difference, really, does it? But fives. I got two. two. I got two, two hits. That's respectable. You've got ten dice. I see three ones. And it does leave seven. But I'm, I'm okay. Just... Now just just confirm to me we don't roll any type of saves, do we? I am just double checking. No I cannot see. Um, so no I'm saves at all. Oh, and sorry, Lance is up there, which is in the box here. Cavalry only use on the first man of any game in which they charge. And all right, broken. they're now gone. So I snap the tops off all my my lances, which have already happened a few times. <laughs> so you did seven hits, and uh, I and I did uh, two. Yep. Yeah, so. Now we resolve the melee outcome. Once all units in the melee have rolled their attacks, resolve the outcome. The side which scored the most hits has won the melee. That was you. If it was a draw, if and then it goes down to troop quality. 
Both sides, we have to do this step by step, I think, so we get it right. Yeah. Both sides automatically take one point of disruption. Okay. For being in the melee. Right, okay, there's one for you we're, and one for me. We're then instantly disordered, which will... All right, so, okay, all right, that's interesting. So, okay, so, well, so, I'll, yeah, well, I can add the, um, the yeah. cannon blasts on in a second. And then the difference in the number of hits scored by each side is the amount of... The extra disruption the loser immediately takes. So, um, you did one. I did two, you oh, did seven, so, so you I take, take five. So you take five. So I actually take, so if you win the combat, yeah. it appears you, you take no disruption other than the disruption of okay. joining the combat. And do I now have to withdraw? Yep. And so, have... the losing unit must then make an immediate full withdraw move, mm -hmm. and a full withdraw move is your full move back. So four inches. The normal withdraw is only half. Yep. Uh, plus D6 paces. Okay, so plus D6, so four. I'm going back eight. And you'll obviously be disordered at the end. Uh, where do now, you go? I stay where I am. Oh, good. So I, so again, I'm in a bit of a vulnerable position. I'm yeah, disordered. Good. Yeah. However, I did win by more than three, so there's a chance that I may have start taking your colours. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. So on a roll of six, roll you of get six. the colours, don't you? No. No. Okay. However... Because you've won a combat, I, I think wanna, you get a victory point yeah, straight away. Yeah, so if I'd captured the colours... You'd win two. I'd have won an extra, take an extra victory point. All right. So as you can see, the victory points stack up quite quickly in this. Um, right, we'll get everything moved around. Um, and then, Robin, do you want to just roll? So Because you um, played that card, and I believe on a... Yeah. On, what was it? On it's a, a six. Cause on a six, you get to play enough, another card. I do. You do. Do you want? I do. Okay, well, let's just get tidied up, and then uh, we'll let Robin play another card. Right, Robin, what are you playing next? So, obviously, as you've got land there, I'm... He's just realised that these are all militia. <laughs> I have. Um, going right. after your militia a little bit. So I'm playing it for the special event again. Militia panic. A single enemy militia unit anywhere on the tabletop gains plus D3 disruption as they start to panic and think about running. Which one are you going for? The so, one, the lot that you've just uh, seen no, off of it? so I'm going to play it on... <sighs> on them. So they get D3. They've already got one. If you're on a three, then they're disordered and... Yep. I'm, oh dear, go on then. No, it's so a two. Two so. more. And then on a four plus, I can play another card. Do you want to? You know, I do. For... I mean, it's an interesting concept, but I'm going to go with it. Four or more? I can. You can? So I am going to play another card. <laughs> so, uh, wavering. A single unit of militia or trained troops, which is at least 10 paces of one enemy unit, gains D3 disruption and starts to waver in the face of the enemy. Right. Can't use it against Russians, though. Uh, well, 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 have you know that these guys here at night is uh, uh, into, uh, uh, plus D3 is it? So, who are you going to do that on? Are you going to do it on the unit in the lead to yeah, try and so I'm going to try and I'm going to try and okay, so they get another D3, just so one. one more, but, that but is, that's enough now. now. Dis they're instantly disordered, aren't they? Yes, they are. Um, right, okay. I like the idea that this shock cavalry charge has just like caused mass panic. Through the uh, through the land vet. So on a roll oh, of four, four and you I can am... do something else. You are. Yeah, I know this is. I'm. You have no cards left. I can. What are you going to do then? I'm playing intense cannonade. <laughs> right. All deployed artillery batteries in the army, regardless of their position on the battlefield, are immediately able to bombard. Okay. Right. However, that is a lot of my turn done. I'm going to yeah, get a lot of. You've um, just played three cards. Uh, you've got two left? One yeah. left. So that'd be four cards in total I've played. Yeah, I started right. with six. You started with six. Right, okay. So, uh, okay, Robin, so which one do you want to bombard with first? So the battery in the middle, and yep. it'll be at your... Um, uh, these uh, Hanoverians here. Yep. Uh, still over the heads. So, so two so dice hitting on fives. You go for it. Two oh, hits. my God. <laughs> well, I, I ha it has taken time, but I've finally got you ranged in, I think. There we go. So that's two two more on them. Um, oh, I haven't added their oh, so disruption. Now. Yep, they, well, they were a minute ago. Battery on the right flank at your veterans again, who are again are obscured. Hitting on fives because they're um, they're in... Uh, yeah, they're hard cover. Yeah, it's five. It's not hard cover, it's obscured, it, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so... Uh, so I've lost the dice. No. No. Okay. Right uh, then. I'm not going to play, and I could roll to play another card. I'm not going to do that because I feel like I need something in reserve to react. So just say so you've played four cards. Out of you six. did the uh, the cavalry charge, then you did the wavering militia. panicky thing, and then, then you I did, did a bit. Then I did a bit more against the militia, and then you just did an intense cannonade. Yep. So I really like it though. I think that's quite flavorful how you've just sort of smashed up the hill. 
uh, you gained yourself a victory point in doing that by winning yeah. that combat. It, it kind of represents a lot of stuff happening at once, yeah. doesn't it? And then... It looks very cool. Right then. Okay, so my turn to pick. Right, so I'm going to try and get my own back on Robin a little bit here, but I'm going to play the long game. So I'm going to play this card for three action points. The objective on here was guns on the high ground. And there's no way my guns are getting up that hill over there. So <laughs> I'm going to play it on this brigade commander and take three action points. The first thing I'm going to do is execute a maneuver with this unit here. And they're going to uh, basically wheel 90 degrees like this. So we've just checked and a disordered unit can essentially do everything that a normal unit can. It's just it doesn't do it as well unlike other games where you can't do anything. So I imagine that will, will please a few people. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to volley with this unit into them. They've all got clear lines. It's a 90 degree arc. Yep. So they are going to shoot. So I'm in impeccable order. You don't uh, want to split your fire across the No, tree? I don't want to split. I'm, I'm okay. quite, quite satisfied. Thank you very much. Um, I am going to... Um, Yep, they've got skirmishes one. So yes, I will. I get one dice per base for four, and I'm in impeccable order. That makes it five. Land there, got uh, firing of four plus, so four, five dice hit on fours. Uh, that's two, so you get a discipline of four plus. With your lances, so to reduce this to two. One, even. Plus yep, two. so you just took one disruption. That was my second action. My third action is I'm going to fire with this. Now, did we ask thing? do I have to shoot at the nearest target? No, I can see nothing at all okay. that in, says that. In that case, enemy, enemy units do obscure others. Obviously not in this case because... Yeah, I just want to shoot the one behind. Yeah. Um, and I want to... Uh, now, you haven't moved with them. Oh, no, you did move with them. Oh, your or your guy, your aide de comp is up there. You should be with him, shouldn't you? No, because I played the special event card. But, did, but, you, but you said you had to play it on the command. On oh, yes, yeah, sorry, yes, sorry, yes. The run, yeah, yeah. So, but they haven't moved in the last order, have no, they? So, they've so shrapnel. So, shrapnel. So I'm going to have two dice hitting on fours. Uh, so one automatic disruption. Okay, that's the end of my uh, my card there. Robin, do you wish to play a card, uh, seeing as you're down on a few now, or do you wish to pass? I'm going to play a card. So I'm going to play on this Brigade Commander just for orders. Yep. I'll move this now. How many? Four orders. Yep. And skirmish fire with them yep. at your... A unit behind the cover. Okay, I have a feeling that that is going to result in a zero because oh, so I've I'm... got a skirmishing of two. You've got a skirmishing of three. Oh yeah, uh, then... and um, is there any other? Oh no, yeah, uh, target obscured and, and my hard. light and light company minus oh, one. Sorry, if, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so oh no, it's minus one if the light company is deployed. That's just it. So it's not minus my ability. It's just so you're yeah. three. You're down to two. Two. So it's just uh, it's two dice. It, and and you ignore yeah. cover. You ignore cover. Yep. Yeah. Hitting on fours. Oh. Ah. Skirmish fire with them. The disordered. Oh, disorder doesn't affect. No, it's good. Fire, does it? Except um, skirmish fire. So you'll be getting already... one dice because you'll be minus. Because I've well, you've got yeah. Because I've got my my light company. Essentially, I've got skirmishes deployed. You've got two dice. No, I'm two. going to uh, give them a manoeuvre, uh, a change formation order, and I'm going to recall... Skirmishes. The Get light. back in here. The skirmishes, okay. which I'm still disordered. Um, uh, well, I'd, I'd remain disordered even if I... Okay. So I'm going to actually give them a quick march order. Yep. Um, and they'll just receive a disruption each. Okay, okay. So quick march lets them go at one and a half times, doesn't yep, it? Yep, so nine, because I need to be able to clear them. I'll grab you a disruption. Excellent. Uh, and now I imagine three. you're going to shoot with your cannons. I am then going to shoot with my cannons, but I'm going to shoot this way this time. Uh, the, uh, the the 30th? Yep. Okay. Uh, so you get two dice normally, um, on plus him. one for being in impeccable order. Um, there's no... Nothing obscuring. Nothing obscuring, so it's uh, just three dice hitting on fives. Oh, just so you guys can see, this is sort of the state of the uh, the battlefield at the moment. Um, I'm trying to keep the cavalry over there as much as as much as possible. Um, is that you done? That is that done. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to play this card, um, but I'm not playing for the five orders. I'm playing for the commander wounded ability. <laughs> pick an enemy division, corps, or army commander. Well, I'm going to pick your enemy commander who's hanging out at the back there. Uh, sorry, the 
Divisional yep, yep, commander. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and uh, on a roll of five or more, the senior commander stand has become a casualty, hit by a stray round or shrapnel, fallen from his horse, taken ill. Removed to stand and gain victory points. It's not the Prince of Orange, you know, with your 95th. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point, actually. So five or more, he's dead and I get some victory points. Oh, phew. But I am going to try and uh, get another card. So on a roll of five or more, I can uh, play another card. No, I can't. Robin, it's over to you. Do you want to play or pass? No, I'm going to pass. How many cards have you got left? I have two. Yeah, I'll pass now. Okay. Um, in that case, I will play... So I'm going to play this card. And I'm going to use the special ability Command Confusion. In the smoke, chaos, and confusion, it's hard to maintain discipline and have orders heard. The opponent must discard action cards from their hand chosen at random by you. Roll a d6. Basically, if I roll a 1, you don't have to get rid of your card. Otherwise, you're going to have to get rid of your last card. And then I get to play my card. Okay, so I don't want to roll a one. Uh, so it's chosen at random by me, but so that goes. Let me choose this one. That goes in the bin. What was it? Uh, actually, no, I think that's mean. Way yeah. to say, would say. Um, which means then, uh, so it's your turn. <laughs> mean. Okay, so I'll take that as a pass, <laughs> uh, and I will pay, play uh, this one here. Which is uh, so the special event on this would have been militia panic, but I um, I think that they're. Uh, you know, they're all right as they are. Um, I don't need to... Unfortunately, most of my people need to rally a militia and this won't let me do that. So I'm just going to play for the free orders um, and I'm going to put play it on this brigade commander here. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do... Now, he's already been... Oh, no, he wasn't. He didn't go last. So I've just got to get that right. It's the order, isn't it? So the aide-de-camp goes over to him. I do like that. That's a very cool little um, ability. And uh, to be honest, I'm, I feel like I'm just storing this attack. So um, I'm not going to be in range, am I? 10 inches? Could you just check? Definitely. Just see? I might just be teetering. Oh, actually. Uh, no. No? No. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, then, they will just... Um, Is it in range for skirmish fire? They're going to skirmish fire. So I'm going to get two dice with the 95th. That's it, isn't it? Uh, two dice. Mine, you haven't got your light company deployed, so it's two <laughs> dice hitting on fours, re-rolling... Because one for being rifles. rifles. Give it fours. Reroll that one. That's uh, two. So I can uh, save one potentially. Yep. Which I do not. No. Nope. So two disruption. Mm. Now I'm going to fire with the cannons. Now they moved last time, so I can't use shrapnel. Yes. So I'm just going to be using uh, straight up. But I. Oh no, I'm not in um, good um, order. Because no. I received it. Now, actually, this is a good question. I know we played it last time. That I I was in impeccable order. Do you receive the oh, um, you receive before the one or after? before or after? It doesn't matter now. I, I, did, we, we I did realize it. that after we'd done it, and I thought, yeah, we'll figure oh, that well, out. Oh, well, we'll figure that out. Um, but so they're going to fire. So because they're in, not in impeccable order anymore, they're only getting two dice and they're hitting on fives because I can't use shrapnel. Yep. No. Is there any point in me shooting this unit some more? Um, yeah, because oh no, I guess not. I mean, because no, because if, if I if I had a card left to be able to rally potentially, then yes, because obviously I can only rally. I might as well shoot. Um, the only other thing I could do is move these through. But if I move these through, they're going to cause this lot to become disordered. Uh, disordered. So I will shoot you. Um, I'm going to get four dice because I'm not in impeccable order, and I'm hitting on fours. Uh, hmm. So two. So you need two saves. Does disorder oh. matter in saves? No. Just get one Dis to save. So I save one. So just another disruption. Um, and uh, my commander's going to hang out exactly where it is. And that's the end of a turn. That was a lot quicker because of Robin burning through his cards and uh, me getting rid of one of them. So um, we'll just run through the end step. Okay, so it's the end phase, and now I still sort of see what Robin was talking about. I'm getting mixed up with the, when rally step happens. Obviously, it's only if you play a rally action. So first of all, reserves. My, it's turn you turn two. My reserves don't turn up until turn four. Are there any commanders at risk within 10 inches of the enemy? This one nearly is, but they're, they're just outside. Yeah, and no, not on my side. <laughs> now we've got to do the, the, the fun bit, the broken units. If any units on the table have more points of disruption than they have remaining stands, then the unit is broken and removed from the tabletop. Roll a d6 on broken units table. Cross-reference with the unit's quality for how many victory points a broken unit is worth to the enemy. So should we do me first? Because I, I had the tactical yep. advantage. So this uh, this lot here, um, so they're gone. So we'll remove those in a second. So they are militia. Um, so who's gonna who rolls? I imagine you roll to see how many points you get for my unit. Yeah. 
Um, so you roll a d6, and let's uh, and hang on, let me just show on the camera here what I'm talking about. Look, so here, so go on then, Robin. You roll a you roll a d6. And let's see how many points you got for this these guys. Three. Uh, you got two points for that unit of militia. So you add two to your victory point total, and then this unit up here, they've definitely got more. They took that smash from the cavalry. So you roll a d6 again, and you got another two points for that unit of militia. So you gain four victory points that turn. Um, I don't have any other units that are that are sort of at that state, but now we'll come oh, over to Robin. Now you've got uh, these guys here, haven't you? They're, yep, they're so over. Now what are they though? They're so they're trained. Militia. So they're trained. So if I get a six, these are worth four points. So a four. There's three points for you. Three points on that unit. And then uh, this one here as well. Yep. Yep. They're on five, aren't they? So basically, got... I'd, I'd mucked up at the end because I kept two cards back to rally, not realizing the cards said were only for the higher level troops. Yeah. So this I couldn't is actually rally. Rally cards are only for specific things, aren't they? So yeah. that unit up there. Come on. That's a three. So that's another. Four. Four. Oh no, the tra no. Yeah, trade three. Another three. three. So Another three. Gives, that gives so you six. six. So what are the scores at the moment, Robin? What's the running oh, total? Well, there's a few more additional victory points. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've got to do this. So we actually added them as we went, but we've got some disruption probably. Right, okay. Are, are any unit um any units have disruption equal to the number of stands in the end phase that aren't dead? So um, uh, no. No, they're all uh, No, they're all below. Okay, they're so all no below, just below. Win a melee, obviously. I did that. I already had you the added point that. Over, yep. And I didn't capture your colours. No. There was no massacre. No. No brigades have been wiped out. You didn't wound my. I tried. Commander, I point. tried. So I think that's it. Yeah. So supply train, battlefield objectives. Neither of us played any. Um, so we've got to do the how goes the day roll again. So uh, it, it's seven victory points to the British, five to the French. Okay, but this could add one. This could do some. So how's yep. the wider battle turn up? So a messenger turns up. I'm rolling 2d6 and adding 2. Remember, this also determines who's going first in the next turn. Uh, so I got 11. You're all adding 1. Uh, you got 6. Just enough to not be doubled. True, so no victory points, but it does mean that I have the tactical advantage again for the next turn. Yep. So I will be getting to play the first action. Um, there's no end of game. So sorry, what were the victory points? 7 to the British. And 4 to the... Uh, five to the French. Okay, brilliant. Right then, we'll crack on with turn three. Okay, turn three. Here we go. So uh, I'm, I feel like I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go first. So to kick things off, I'm going to play this card and I'm going to uh, use the event on it, which is Stand Fast, a single unit that is in hardcover, immediately reduces its disruption by four. And the only unit I've got in hardcover are my veterans with who've got two disruption on them, so they just shake all of their disruption. I uh, could have done with that last turn, to be honest, but uh, uh, I'll get rid of those. Now, um, that's only a two plus to play another card. Yep, just. <laughs> okay, uh, for my next order, I'm just going to use this and use the two orders, and I'm going to play it on my Hanoverian commander. Um, so let's just pop the aide de comp next to him to show he's been last. Uh, first of all, my um, unit at the front are going to fire at your lancers. They are in impeccable order, so they're going to get five dice and they're going to be hitting on fours. That's three. What did you need? Four plus. So, so you've just taken one. two. Oh, it's still. Oh, yeah. Luckily, I'm a lot, quite a large yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's fine. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the cannon again and I'm going to fire and I'll use shrapnel on them. Yep. So two dice hitting on fours. Two hits, that's two disruption on that unit at the front. So the final order, I'm going to move uh, this unit at the back through them, uh, meaning that they both receive a point of disruption, and then they're going to do an echelon to the left. There we are. So that is the end of, uh, that's the end of that card. Robin, have you got a card? Yeah. What are you going to play? Uh, I'll play on my centre brigade. Yeah. For five orders. I'm not going to rally. Not going to rally yet. Okay. We're going to quick march. Oh no, because that causes disruption. I should quick marching. Let's not do that. Let's just march. Let's just normal maneuver march. Okay. So that's one. 
the second order will be for them they're going to echelon left as they go so i yep. I, can, I can i can wheel slightly as well can't i so yeah i can wheel for 45 degrees isn't up it up to 45 yep. which is half and then um and then just use the cannon again up on the hill yep uh, the Hanoverians. At the Hanoverians there. So, again, your impeccable order. That would give you three dice normally, but down by one. Yep. So, two dice in on fives. Ah, oh, one. Is that everything? Yeah, so I had five orders, but that's everything in that brigade. Okay. Um, so, my turn. I am going to play this for Artillery Bombard. Um, oh, how am I? Am I? Am I? Yeah, I am. I'm going to play this for an artillery uh, bombard. So I've got to pick one of your units with ten without, within, not within ten paces of uh, friendlies. So I, I know that that unit is uh, out of range because they were outside of yep. ten of them. Um, I'm assuming skirmishes don't count. No, you measure from the main. You always measure from the main. So again, so for this one, I've got to uh, roll five dice. Any fives are a hit. The targeted unit that gains one point of disruption for each hit. None. Oh. Less effective than last time. There, there we go. You and could then spend a divisional point to reroll oh, one dice if you want. Yeah, why not? Good point. I'll just spend a divisional point. So this is a reroll for a hit. No, that didn't work. And then let's see if I can do another order. I can. Okay, I'm going to play this card for four orders and I'm going to play it on my division over here. So first of all, the Cornwall Regiment are going to fire at the advancing French column there. I'm not in impeccable order, so it's just going to be four dice hitting on fours. That's uh, three hits. Potentially save You've one. You've got a discipline of... Four plus. Oh. No, so three. So oh. uh, they are now... I keep on wanting to say shaken, but they're um, disordered. They are disordered. Okay, they're done. Cannons firing at that unit there. I can use shrapnel because um, uh, yeah. you didn't move last time, yep. but um, I am not in impeccable order. So it's two dice hitting on fours. No. I am going to move with the Highlanders um, and move forward. I lose D3 going across the uh, the wall. Three, so I go one you each. You just hop the wall. Basically I go over, but I'll just pop the, um, the these guys are in the field. And then at the back here, the King's Zone are gonna march up to the wall. Bit of a push now on that flank. Uh, there we go, Robin, that's the end of that card. I'm gonna be playing a rally card. Yeah. Who are you rallying? So I am going to start with um I mean what's the who what's the oh, um is it trained militia? Uh, so yeah, militia trained season professional elite. So this one's everybody. Yeah, very Okay, flexible. so everyone within thirty of him gets to do this, yep. don't they? So this is this this order got to do. So the first thing you can do is, is withdraw. withdraw. Do, so, so I, pick a so unit. I'll start so with them. Are they going to withdraw? I don't wish to withdraw. Are they going to rally on the colours? They're going to rally on the colours. So, so you've got two disruption, three, three disruption. Three. So roll three dice, and for each six, they get rid of a disorder, uh, a disruption even. I'm going to use one of my Ooh. divisional points, points, and re-roll one dice. I lose one still. Okay, next. Casualties. Do you want to lose a stand to get rid of two casualties? You could get rid of those two. You could lose a stand and get rid of the last two disruption. Oh, on three. You know what? I am actually going to do that. Okay. So you can see that. So now he loses those last two points of disruption. Um, so again, you know, then, choosing to lose, lose the men and then <laughs> move on. Yeah. And then uh, this one. This unit, so okay, I'm not going to withdraw. I am going to try and rally around the flag. And he's got two Just points two. of disruption. No. no. Are you going to Johnny's a reroll? No. Uh, and I'm not going to remove a base. Remove a base, no. So, no. So, it so was that's, just a. That's it for them. Okay. Uh, and that's it. That's your card. Him. Okay. So, I'm going to play my card here. Um, actually, how many cards have you got left? Probably more than you. I've got four. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm going to pass. Okay. That's. Actually, okay. What are you going for? So, I'm going to play a four card for orders. Uh, who's this on? the on? right hand. So, this doesn't cause disruption because you played a rally order? Rally order on them last time. Okay. Yeah. So, then I'm going to do... So, we've got four orders. So, we'll start with the um, artillery. Mm -hmm. Which you're going to fire again at the... At these guys. So, it's just going to be three dice hitting on fives. 
single point of disruption, which, which is, is going to be enough, enough to disorder. disorder. Then I'm going to re uh, recall my light company here. <laughs> I kind of feel like you're regretting that a little bit. Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do next? Form line? Then I'm going to... Right, what are you doing? So that, your first order was oh, fire, so... then recall to skirmishers. So what's your third order? Then I'm just going to move move up with these. So do these guys now... They don't run off unless they're charged, right? So they yeah, just... Yeah, so my understanding is they just... All right, I'll just put them on the flanks. Yeah, and we're coming very close to nine inches... Oh, sorry, six inches gets me to there. Okay, interesting. And then... And one order left. One order left. Could you move and wheel into that space? I mean, you'll get disruption, won't you? But yeah. So I can see now the issue with, like, in this game, with having, like, units behind. It's all about disruption. You think you just have to accept that you're going to get gonna some. You're going to get some moving through. Um, yeah, I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to move, but echelon. So I'll end up... Because I'm one base. Yeah. Makes sense. So I'll actually end up next to them. All right, you might as well, yeah, just, just shuffle over. Yep. Okay, uh, yeah, well, that's the end of Robin's uh, phase there. Um, I've still only got one card. Robin, you have three? Yep. I'm going to pass again. Okay, that's good. I'm going to play this one for an event. Oh, God. Uh, Withering Volleys. Oh. It's like Withering Heights. Do we have a look? Two, yeah. Go on, you. The two infantry battalions get to fire, and I believe it's hit on a two... Yeah, plus? Volleys fire increase their two, two, yeah. two plus for a British army. This is increased to three British. Um, so two infantry battalions anywhere on the table. Yep. Who are you going to pick? So obviously we know the range is short, so we'll go there and there. They'll be the only two okay. in range. Well, what's their shooting? Because it's modified, isn't it? Because the... the um, oh, the disorder. Well, no, and also oh. the fact that the formation that they're in. Yes, yeah, so only my front bases can fire. Oh, okay. So you're getting two dice. Yep. And um, this... So two dice. This unit is disordered, which is minus one. No, minus two. Minus two, yeah. So they don't get to do anything. But, so, again, but you always roll one. You always roll one. Okay. Oh, do you? I know you do with artillery. No, you do. Yeah, it's you skirmish do. fire that, that yes. you don't. Okay, cool. So this unit gets to roll one dice, hitting on a two. Okay. Um, the, you I'm can take a save as normal. Yeah, you I'm just take one four, save. so I've got a discipline of four. No, so that's put me one over. It sounds silly, but that is enough potentially if you don't do something about it now to... Yes, especially because I've only got one card. Um, which is a pain. And then these guys over here. Same here. So you get two dice. Two dice and I've got no... I'm not the sort... I've got absolutely nothing on me. Uh, you'll be obscured for the wall because I'm firing down into the road. Um, so you're hitting on a two. Yeah. Okay. And my veterans, because they haven't had to do dis discipline. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they got discipline. So... No. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to use one of my rerolls. Yep. They passed uh, that. Okay. Okay, what's the play another card? Do you want to oh, try it? Uh, yeah, it was a four plus. Okay, do you want to and try it? And I... Well, you got to roll first to see if do you... Do want to try. <laughs> All right. No. No. Okay. Right. Um, in that case, I am going to go. Um, and oh, I mean, re this is really problematic for me. Yeah, I'm going to have to do. A, I'm going to have to do a rally order because I um, I want it. I had another plan, but I'll, I'll just have to say that time. So I'm going to play this. Fortunately, it's on train season, professional and elites. Um, so I'll play this down on this brigade commander here, and the first thing I'll do is I'll do I'll do these guys. So first of all, I don't want them to. Well, if they withdraw and they go through a unit, they will give disruption because you're still moving a form unit through form. But do you so. receive disruption? Okay, so these guys who are doing the rally order, I'm not going to withdraw because they would. I see. I'm tempted to do it because they would. Go, they're going to gain a disruption, though. But, but then I guess you do that first, and then you've got the option to then remove more disruption yeah, after. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, they they are because I want to bring a fresh unit in. So they're going to withdraw, um, which will put them behind this unit here. Um, they both gain a dis. Both these units gain a disruption, but as I'm rallying, because then I can rally that unit, can't I? Uh, yeah. Also, actually. It does make sense because you already do it because you may withdraw and do disruption, but then you can rally on the colours. Yeah, and exactly. So you can get rid of the extra you get. Yeah, so I'm going to put the uh, extra disruption on yep. and hope that um, I can then take it off. So next thing I've got to do is rally around the colours. So I have six disruption, so I roll six dice, and for every six I get rid of one. That's three. Oh, perfect. Get rid of three. That's 
So I got rid of three. So the next one is, do I want to take casualties? No, because um, they're, they're lower than their stands. And the final thing, order the ranks. On a discipline test, they become good or well, we, well ordered again. You do want to do that. Four or more? Yeah. yeah. Now, this unit in front. Um, first of all, withdraw. No. Um, <laughs> you just keep on going back. Uh, rally around the colors. So on a six, I get rid of that disruption. No, um, and I'm not taking casualties and they're already in good order. So it's just a chance. My cannon um, here has got one on it. So I'm just going to see if it can get rid of it. So let's have a look. No, um, and everybody else is in good order. So I think that was worth it just to sort of deny those points. But that is then the, I haven't got any more cards, Robin. So it's over to you. Okay, Robin, who's going? So I'm going to play uh, a rally card mm -hmm. on the middle brigade. Lots of rallying going on. Lots of rallying. Okay, and I've only actually need to play it on. They're yeah, they've trained. got six casualties. So, are you going to withdraw? I'm not going to withdraw. I'm going to pin it all on. Rallying around the colours. And then potentially. So, six dice and any sixes reduce some disruption. Oh, I need to give you a victory point as well for my rally. Oh, oh, did I need to give you oh, one for your, mine? Oh, card hang has... on. Yes. Yeah, I yes, did. I did. <laughs> okay. Did you need to give me one for the previous one? I think I did. Oh, was it was a zero. Okay. Uh, so have you marked up your one as yeah. well? Okay. So I've rallied two. Yeah. Or is... do you wish to remove a base remove to a base. reduce it to two, by two casualties? I mean, they're not going anywhere. No, I'm not. Uh, okay. I'm just going to roll, see if I can reorder Get them in good them. order. Yeah. So four up. I mean, that's, that's fair. Yeah. They're probably okay. shaking at the moment. So that was your rally order. So I've got um, one more card. And what's that? And who are you playing it on? No, I'm going to play it on the middle brigade okay uh, for five orders yeah and we're gonna threaten you a bit more so i'm gonna give them a i'm gonna try and charge oh, i am disordered it's not great so it's six so you yeah, need what, how far am i 10 inches yeah so i need but i am also disordered so it wouldn't be great combat is it but yeah let's go for the charge i need to take a discipline test first otherwise i fail it okay so four, four up. plus and they don't want to charge but i'm going to use a reroll. okay how many of those have you got left? One. One yeah, me too. Oh, brilliant. Okay. okay. Um, and these will just move and they'll echelon to the side. The side at the same time. So, so they can then wheel, can't they? Is the, can they echelon and wheel? Yeah. So So I don't actually need to clip the. Yep, so they'll be side by side. Yeah, uh, yeah, or just, or just behind. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's two orders. Cannon's going to fire, I take it, over the, over there, all their heads? Yeah. Um, yeah, we have yep. to get the Hanover. So, three, three dice hitting on fives. Ooh, two. That's that's it, isn't it? Because you haven't got another... Bring him there. Another that's unit. That's it. Okay, so we'll, right then. We'll into some, the end phase. Yeah, there'll be some victory points given out here, I think. Okay, so end step first. Uh, reserves. That's not this turn. That's next, next turn, turn for me. Um, no one is at risk, I don't think. Is anyone within 10 no. inches? No. no, I don't think they are. Uh, next up, broken units. I don't think we have any broken units this time. Is there? There's no one who's got more disruption than stands. No. Nope. No, but there are a few people who are equal. So, in, uh, oh, additional victory yeah. points. So, so, anyone who has dis disruption equal to the number of stands. Uh, so you'll get another one. For I my... get one for your guys there. I think that's it. Yep. Um, there's no melees. No one's been captured. Nope. That's no. it. Uh, next thing is the battlefield objectives. We haven't really done any of these, no. have we? Because I think we're a bit unsure. But uh, next thing, how goes the day? So another messenger gallops up to talk about the wider battle. So I'm rolling with 2d6 plus 2 for my tactical advantage. Uh, so I'm on 9. Uh, I'm on 8. You're on 8. So still with me, but no additional victory points awarded. Um, end of the game. What victory points are we on, Robin? It is... 10 victory points for the British and 6 for the French. Okay, and what's your army break point? What's your... Uh, 16. So 6 victory points to go for the British. Um, okay, so I really need my need to get through this turn so my heavy cavalry <laughs> turn up. Uh, right, let's get the cards dealt out and we'll move into the next turn. Okay, so the cards have been dealt and it's still the British who hold the tactical advantage. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this card for five actions. I, I was sitting here looking at the objective, which was advance through enemy lines. 
and just thinking, could I ever get anyone off your side of the table? And I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe if I had cavalry at the start, I would, but uh, yeah, that's a pain. So I'm going to play this, but I'm going to have to play it on these guys again. So I am going to be getting disruption for all of these uh, units that I, I sort of do things with again. And first of all, I'm just going to charge <laughs> yep. you. So my Highlanders, uh, my veterans are going to go and get stuck in. What happens to my 95th? So, skirmishers... They're recalled whenever a light company is recalled or forced to withdraw. So they, they're they like, they're recalled. So they yep. go in and just fight with them. Um, okay, so it's 6 plus D6, isn't it, for the yep. charge? Uh, um, 4 plus D6. Sorry, you're... 4 plus yeah. D6, and then I'm minus D3. So I might as well roll, just in case this goes incredibly wrong. Yep. 4 plus D6. Uh, so they're going 5 minus... One, one. So four. four. Yeah, that's one. So I what? Why don't Shall we I shuffle back a bit? I, yeah, or I was going to say if you just go back, just because we're fighting. There we go. Side, that's all you'll need to do. We're fighting this side of the wall, which is important. Right. Okay. So, ouch. They're going to get stuck in. Ouch. Uh, let's work out dice. Just got to check they can do this. So I need a discipline test of three or more. Yep, they're fine. So they make the charge. Right. Let's just roll through um, what each of the units get. So it's always a defender first. Robin has three bases in the combat, so he is getting three dice. Um, he is in an attack column, but surprisingly, that only helps in attack. So that's it. He just gets three dice, and his skill with a bayonet is four or more. Two. Two. Okay. I'm getting four dice um, for my uh, for my Highlanders, and then plus one, because these are my veterans, so they're a higher troop quality. So I'm rolling five dice, and I'm hitting all fours. Um, I'm going to use one of my rerolls, my last reroll from my commander. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! So I so now right. how does how do the so, results work? Okay, so, <laughs> so you got one, didn't you? Yeah. So both sides automatically take a point of disruption each first before you do anything else. Yep. And are in disorder. Put that one second. Yep. Then the num difference in the number of hits is the amount of extra disruption the loser immediately takes. So right, I, so I, took, I won by one. So I took so you one. take an extra. That's it. Just one extra disruption. Yeah, and then you'll have to withdraw, won't you? Uh, and the withdraw move is just, what is it? It's D6 plus my move, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, back over the wall I go. But if you roll high, unfortunately, you might end up withdrawing through your own. Oh, God. So four oh, plus two is six to... minus D3 minus three. So they go back into the yeah. road. Okay, so that didn't quite go as planned. Uh, Robin, you got a victory point for winning the combat. Yeah. Uh, I'm there, and as you can see, there's lots of disorder and lots of things going on now. But I won't, don't think I'm going to be receiving it. Well, I might receive a disordered charge. We'll see. Um, but it's my, that was my first order with them. Uh, my next order, uh, very simply, the uh, King's Own here are going to fire at the uh, that unit there that have already taken. Actually, you said I don't have to fire at my closest target. Didn't I you? can't see anything that's. It just seems as you have to be in range. And obviously, muskets are fair. Well, I'm not going to be range, in 10 inches today. So, so um, I'm pretty sure I'm in range. Can you just check that I'm in range? I think I am. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, I'll just shoot at them, try and get them off the board. Um, I'm not in impeccable order, so it's just four dice hitting on fours. That's uh, two. So you've got a chance to reduce that to one. Nope. So two disruption. Next up, the cannons are going to fire up the hill, um, I... and it's going to be at the unit, not them, but at the unit. You can fire canister at them. Yeah, but my guys are in the way. Would you suggest we have to see any? Uh, part I of the... think that I, I'm going to. I would. To be honest, I quite like to shoot at them up there anyway. Yeah, fair enough. So um, you didn't move with them last, did you? Nope. Um, so I can fire shrapnel. Uh, so two three dice, dice hitting. Oh, oh no, I'm not in like peckle orders. It's two dice hitting on fours. I just realised that I need to be adding disruption onto people because that's the last thing that I uh, they were the last people activated. Oh, they did it. Uh, so, um, <laughs> uh, one second. So they have an extra point of disruption on them for the charge. Um, these guys have a point of disruption. And if it's all the same with you, I'm not going to activate my cannons because that will then make them shaken, basically. Yeah. yeah exactly. um, so we won't do that. Uh, over here... Uh, You've got five orders, haven't you? Because there is a don't forget there is an order specific to cannons where effectively they self rally. So you could ah oh yes relaying them that wouldn't help you this turn because I guess you'd gain a it wouldn't help no no you. but it'd be handy if I can get rid of it. So can I relay the guns? No, because you'll gain a point of disruption for doing the extra order. Oh, I see. And then you might be able to remove. So oh, I see. It yeah. doesn't help you in this situation. In that case, I'm done. So it's over to you, Robin. So I'm going to play. Steady lads. So yep. I'm going to play an event on. I'm going to play an event over here. I'm going to play steady lads. A single infantry or cavalry unit immediately re reduces disruption by three points. Okay. 
And what's the uh, chance of moving on to the next? So four plus, which okay. I'm going to try and do. Yep. I was really undecided because it sounded really good and which unit to put it on. Um, no. No. I'm going to go with the Hanoverians with three orders. I, I actually was thinking about playing this one as an objective, which was stake a trump, take a strong point, because I thought I might be able to get into that house at some point. Um, so it's just three uh, orders onto him, but at least that means I can remove this guy over to here. It's not very really nice here to con, really. Um, <laughs> So, first things first, um, my, I'll fire with the cannon first, because uh, it's got a, because it can do that, can't it, basically? Yeah, it's got a 90 degree yeah, or 45 so, degree, it's got whatever. plenty of arms. Yeah, so it will fire at those guys at the front, it's in impeccable order, um, and um, you didn't move with them last. No, you, no, you did. You, 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 um, you could do canister. Can I? They're in range now. I thought it was canister, I thought you said canister was five. It's ten. Are you within ten? I I don't think, think I am within right. 10. Let's uh, let's have a check. Oh, no, yeah, not quite. No, so I'll do, I'll do shrapnel. So it's going to yep. be two dice hitting on fours. That's two unsavable hits. What I want to do is obviously I want to give fire, but I also want to give fire to them, but I, I can't. So I could, I'm considering wheeling like that and then shooting that way, but that'll add disruption to them both. And then you can redress guys the three. ranks with them. Oh, yes. So, Which is oh, the one we found in the hidden in the movies. So redress ranks, how do I do that? So effectively pick a stand. So this guy. And every other stand goes reline the other all the other stands up the any, other any how you want. So you could you could just move one, you could move two, you could move them all. The only rule is you have to be in the same facing, same formation. So essentially I'm gonna move it all but that one stand. Yeah. So they just they move the shuffle on. Thanks, Robin. No problem. Cheers. These guys are now gonna shoot them. Because <laughs> we measured that out. So yep. these guys are within ten of them. So uh, I'm not in impeccable order, but I am going to get four dice. Yeah. Excellent. Hitting on fours. I'm just two. Potentially save one. Yeah. So I just take the one. Yep. That's that card done. Oh. Here comes the massive charge. Well, I mean, there is that, but it's all to play. You have a look over there. Look, they've got all this combat in here. The cavalry. I'm not quite sure what the cavalry are doing at the minute. Although, if I receive a charge from a disrupted, disordered cavalry unit, I don't know how well it will go but these are only militia. I'm going to play this one for the special event. Mm -hmm. So well drilled, up to three units may take a manoeuvre order and then immediately afterwards make a march order. Okay. Or they may march and then manoeuvre, can't use it on militia. And it's when you play the event cards, it's not it's tied just to brigade, wide, it's isn't army it? wide. So I'm going to So which do one do you want to go with? a march order over here. With the chasseurs. With the chasseurs, so that was... 12? Well, it was 12 for them. 12 wasn't it? or 10? Yeah. They're light cavalry, aren't they? Yes. And they're in column, we said, so 12. Get so just the other side of the road. So the back of them to the road. Okay. Then they can do a manoeuvre. They can. However... So you could just turn oh, them. Yeah, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> What's the chance of um, doing another card on, on this one? Always a good chance. Was a good chance. Okay. Uh, right, so that's one. Yep. Then I'll do over here. Are you bringing up both of these units? Yes, and I'm going to do a. I think I need to echelon. Well, I'll just come up so they'll be there. Mm -hmm. And they're going to echelon. And then move. Because that's part of their move. march, isn't it? That's yeah. not part of their So I don't, I don't actually need to do the maneuver. I could. Oh, I could change. No, because changing into. Change into line. Ooh. You could change into line. I am yeah. with the veterans. Going to go into line. Going to use my. It is maneuver to change. Yeah, it's maneuver, isn't it? isn't it? Yeah. So they're going to form a line at the edge of the world. Okay. And what's and the chance it's of a playing the three card? plus? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So like, when you asked me a minute ago, I just thought you meant what the chance of me doing. Oh, right. No, no. no, no, no. I, I, thought, I, I thought, thought you were you being be. coy. I thought no. you were being coy. <laughs> uh, right. Wavering militia again. Sorry. No. Oh, what is that one? So it's uh, single unit militia or trained troops. Yours are all seasoned, aren't they, apart from the militia? Mm, no. No, only my veterans are seasoned. Cool. Um, oh, that's fine. No, none of mine are close enough anyway, so that's fine. Right. Um, gains plus D3, disruption and start to wave, and I'm going to place it on them. Yeah, okay, so plus D3, so three more on them, so they are not very happy. No, they're not. They don't like it, they've seen that cavalry moving around, and it's upset them. And then I'm going to try and play another card on a four plus. Go on then. Yep. Is it that same, like, have you got that other militia? No, no, I'm out of things. Ferocious to, cavalry I'm out of charge. things. I am going to play it over here, though, for three orders. 
Hmm. Now, I am further away though, so I'm only actually going to be able to do because it's going to take me at least two orders. Yeah. And I'm going to give my lancers a charge order. They are disordered as well, don't forget. Okay, does that increase? Because they're disordered, does that cost more? Uh, no, just I've still got to take the discipline test. Yep, okay, so discipline test is a four, isn't it? Yep, yep. that was close. Okay, so it's D6 plus them. I mean, they're going to they're make if it. If it's away, 2D6, but... pick the highest. So they're going to go. There you go, yep. Yeah. Okay, so they're in. They're, they're in. in. But you don't have lances this time. No, but I still count as shock cavalry. You still count as shock cavalry. It's just, you just don't have lances. using sabers, not lances. Okay, so it's defenders first. So I surprisingly am not a superior quality. Am I in a superior position because I'm uphill? I would, I would say you're uphill. Well, no, you are uphill. I mean, I would say, let me just see if it gives a... Does that count as a superior position or is it like if you're behind a wall or something? Uh, it's behind a defend, i.e. behind a defend the obstacle <laughs> such as a wall hedge. <laughs> right, no, can't call it, still caught in open ground. <laughs> so I have uh, four dice plus nothing. Um, no. That's it. So I've got four dice, but I'm hitting on fives because I'm not that good with my bayonets. Um, shall I roll in and we work out yours? Yeah. All you've got to do is hold them in a straight line. I'll run into them. <laughs> Surely. For fives. Two. So I'll get six dice for the number of bases. Yep. Then plus one for being superior troop quality. Yep. You're not disordered. However... You get plus one for shock impact. I think you should have gained... Bases. Oh, sorry. No, I am going down the wrong one. You're yeah, right. you've got six dice because you've got six bases. So I should definitely quality, lose some. Seven. Then you're eight because you're shock impact. Yeah, you're minus then, two because you're disordered. So, yeah. So you're six. Yep. And I'm hitting on fours with my yep, sabers. Yep, fours with sabers, yep. So three. Three. Okay. How many did you do? Two. Oh, so... Okay. So we both take a point of disruption anyway. Okay. And both become disordered. Yep. I, I already am. You already are. I'll add another one on in yep. a minute. And then I just take one additional... Yep. Because the difference was one. And then you're going to withdraw. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Right, let's just uh, sort that out and we'll come back. Okay, so they had to withdraw 10 inches <laughs> all the way. Off. He's uh, had to um, shift yeah, over. So I don't have enough orders because of the distance from my yep. command to do anything with my, my other guys. Yep. So I'm just going to move up my brigade commander. Okay. And that's my turn. Of, all right. Well, my card play done. How many cards you got left? Two. Okay, so it's me. Um, I am going to play a special event. I'm going to play Stalled. Uh, play on a single enemy unit that is militia trained or seasoned. They're delayed, double checking orders, sorting out their ranks and files, and may not receive uh, an order to move in any way for the rest of his turn. This unit remains stationary. It may, it may not march, maneuver, withdraw, move, or charge this turn. I'm going to play that on that unit there. Yep. So there upset about something and then on a five or more i get to uh play another card no back to you do you want to pass or do you wish to play a card no i'm gonna play a card what are you gonna play i'm gonna just play for orders yeah six orders over here so i might need them oh, to move further away haven't i so, yeah uh right so i am over ten so two orders yep and they're gonna fire at the at this me. lot yep okay We'll give you the hard cover this time because you're up against the wall, yep. aren't you? Yeah. Obscured. So I get if to the whole unit fires. Yeah. Even if some bases are like. Yeah, because you just yeah. have to be able to. Okay. So right then, let's just have a quick look. Volley fire. You're not in impeccable order. You're not disordered though. Nope. Um, I'm in hard cover, so it's and you're minus, obscured. So I lose two dice. Lose two dice. So you're rolling two dice, hitting on fours. Oh, these are my hit on fours. Two. I've got a discipline of three, so you only took one. Just take one. Right, one order. Yeah. Give fire there. Okay, so you're going to get two, two dice. dice. Oh, no, because I'll be down to. I always get one, don't I? Yeah. So you get what you're going to get one, one dice hitting on a four. Oh, I for the... Not quite no, because you're two when you shoot at it. Well, yeah, it's going to be yeah. one dice hitting on the four at them, or one dice hitting the four at them. But I'm then you're over ten inches away from them. I'm going to give them a. Um, I'm actually going to give them a march order then. Okay. And just they'll come up in line with. Okay. Well, not not in line. Next two. Next two. <laughs> okay. Cool. So. And then so that was one. Also, I've used three. Mhm. Mm I will open fire with the. I take it you're going to shoot yeah, at these at guys. Those, uh, you're in impeccable order, so it's going to be uh, three, three dice dogs. hitting on fives. No. no. And I've only got one thing left to command. Uh, for the last two orders, we're going to charge. So you take a discipline test first. That's all these guys at the front. The guys yeah. in the middle, yeah. Okay, so it's a four up. Got the disorder on. I pass yep. it. 
Um, we're going to be fighting over the wall. Yeah, we? I'm, so, so, I'll roll it anyway, but I think we're going to make yeah, it. Yeah, you're fine. So, but I'm going to... Because, yes. yeah, I've got the wall. Yeah, you'll so have a superior position. Everything. But I'm disordered, so it's going to... So am I. Just going to count... Right, this is going to be interesting. Okay, right, let's get those in. Okay, so Defender goes first. I have four dice as standard. Then I'm superior quality because these are my veterans. So I've got five dice. I am in a superior position because I'm defending that wall. So that puts me up to seven. But I'm in disorder, so that puts me back down to five. So I have five dice hitting on... Well, it might be slightly better. I don't know if I did myself over last time. Let me just check. No, it is four. So five dice hitting on fours. Uh, four. So let's work out Robin's um, ability. So how many dice you get as we base? Three for my base, because I also gave up a yeah. stand. And then I get two for being an attack column. So that's five. However, I'm disordered, so I'll be losing two. So I'm back down to three. Okay. Hitting on fours. Two. Two. Okay, so let's just roll through this. Um, Robin, uh, so we both get one disruption for um, being in the combat. That's popped me over four. I don't like that. However, I got four... Um, points to your two, so you take an additional two. two. Yeah. So that's equal to yours as well. So you've lost the combat, so you are withdrawing D6 plus six, and I get a victory point for winning the combat. Yep. How far are you going? Nine. Uh, nine, yes, because you're in a column, aren't you? Yeah. So I'm also going to be causing disruption on people. Oh dear, this could. That, this has been a messy, messy over here. Right, we'll get these all moved um, and total up where all the disruption is. Okay, just to roll through what happened here, you can see, Robin, you had to move back, didn't you, through that unit there? Um, and now you had, disordered them. Yeah, and um, yeah, I did just added disruption onto you, so it's all over there. So now it's uh, my turn to play a card. So I am going to play uh, this card, and I'm going to play Steady Lads. A single infantry or cavalry unit can immediately reduce its disorder by three points as they find some extra grit and courage. Are you playing oh. it on the militia unit? Or, <laughs> I or don't the, care about uh... it. Yeah, no, the Highlanders, oh. they reduce it by three. Um, so there we go. So they are down to uh, just two disruption. Um, and I can do another action on a four plus. So four plus. No, no. I don't get to do it. Okay, so my card, my last card. Are you going to be rallying? I am. Right. I don't have okay. enough cards to rally everything, though, do I? So, uh, what are you going? So, I'm going to rally over on the right hand side. So, you're going to get one VP for that straight away. So, let's mark one VP there. for that. Because all the oh, other... yeah, and there was one from the combat. They, they sneak up, don't they? They add yeah. up. Yeah. So, I've written down all the melees that happen. We'll add them on after. Okay. But yeah, all the other rallying we've done has been on special events, hasn't it? Yeah. So, it has, yeah. I will start with my veteran unit. Okay. Uh, they're not going to withdraw. No, are um, they going to rally on the colours? Rally on the colours. So that's four dice because they've got four disruption and sixes will, re will reduce them. Reduce it. None. Do you mm. wish to remove a base to remove two? I'm going to use a reroll from my divisional commander. Just to reroll one. One dice just to. Damn. No. Okay. Uh, remove a base. Remove a base gets rid of two. Two. Uh, I mean, they're not going at the end of the turn. No. No, I'm going to keep them with that, but I am going to roll obviously the discipline test for disorder. Are they? I yeah. imagine they're more disciplined. They're yeah, they're free. They three, they're free. They? They're veteran infantry. This is what matters. Yep. Good. So they're not disordered. Then uh, this unit. Okay. Are they going to rally on the colours? I'm actually going to withdraw. Gonna withdraw. Might as well withdraw. So. Uh, so a normal withdraw. Let me just check. Is only a half move as well. Yeah. So they're going to go back four and a half. Yeah. I think we round up to five. Yeah. So five. Oh, and which and one? You which lose takes one. one, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, before we move them, should we do yeah, the roll? So. Uh, and that leaves me. Five. five, so I'll rally on the colours. Lost another one. One. I would need to lose a base. To but then you'd still be on two, and if you took one more. <laughs> no, but at least then I'd stay in the, in the game. I'll give away the... So, yes, yeah, so I'll lose a base. Mm -hmm. Quickly roll for a uh, discipline test to see if I can yep, stop okay. being disordered. No. 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 Fair. Okay. Well, so I'm, moving, I'm moving five inches to, back. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah it, they're combat ineffective at this point. It's more about saving points. Saving. Okay, is that the around. the end of your your action? Uh, they haven't got any on them, have they? No, no, um, no. Yeah, and well, it's only people from his brigade. He yeah, can rally, so I've got nothing it? else okay. to rally. Right. Well, um, so I've got this card, and I wasn't going to, but I think I'm going to play the special event, which is skirmishers harass. Two infantry battalions immediately deploy light companies and then they instantly get skirmish fire with all rolls to hit to two plus. 
So I think I'll be <laughs> I think I'll be uh, throwing out the ninety fifth, and some oh. and then someone else um, to to try and um, basically really annoy you. So uh, yeah, I'm going to throw out the ninety fifth again, um, who are going to deploy out here, and they're going to shoot skirmish fire at your veteran unit, getting two dice, hitting on twos, re-rolling one miss. So if I can get one hit, they're off. I just did all that. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's right. So uh, one, we're rolling five dice, two dice, hitting on twos. Reroll Three on that one. one. That's two hits. You get one save. Save one. One disruption onto the veteran unit, uh, who are now disordered. disordered. Again. again, yep, they're disordered. Right. Um, and I get one other unit can deploy its light company. Um, so these guys are going to do it. Yep. So I'm going to remove a base there, deploy these skirmishers, um, and they are going, but they are going to shoot at... They can shoot wherever you want, that can't they? Kind of, yep, so give me two seconds. There we go. I need one day there to come in handy. So I've got these two skirmishers here. Um, I'm going to skirmish fire at that unit there. So they, they have a skirmish of two. Uh, so I'm just hitting on fours, but this time with no rerolls. Cool. Oh, yes, no, it was all hitting on twos. Thank you. That's two hits, so you need uh, one discipline test of four. Yep. Right, so two disruption on that unit there. Um, and now we're into the end step. Right, we're just going to have a little tidy up and then we'll go through the end step. Okay, so there's quite a lot going on here. So uh, the first thing we've got to do is see if my reserves arrive. Now, I've got a divisional command stand. Uh, whether or not the reserves turn up all depends on the type of commander. So four or more, my heavy brigade is going to appear. Huzzah! Well, they're not hazards. No, they're uh, so uh, they appear. Um, they may, these new units can be given orders as normal, and they roll through. Do, 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 do. So they just enter from where I said they were coming from. Yep. Okay. Well, I don't need to say that just yet, do I? Because if you get the yep. how goes the day roll, so my heavy cavalry are arriving next turn. Next up, um, is there anyone at risk? Um, is this guy at risk? Is he within ten no, inches? It of is. You? Well, saying I've just read the at risk thing very carefully. You actually record the number of times you've been at risk in the turn. Oh, right. It hasn't mattered because obviously we haven't really, all our commanders have been yeah. at the back, but it's, uh, yes, he is. So, okay. so he's been at risk once. So he, what we technically should have done, though it's only just happened, so it doesn't matter, is we should have put, say, one marker next to him. That's the number of times he's been at risk. Okay, for each any unit that is or has been within 10 pace commands. Because it's all has been. Okay, so if I roll a dice for score a one, then the command stand must make an emergency evasive move. Okay, yeah. so if I roll... Though it's only one unit anyway, so... so. No, that's <laughs> fine. Okay, right, next up, we've got to do broken units. So this is going to be the interesting, which we do mine first. Yeah. There's this unit of uh, of militia here who are very, very broken. So uh, Robin, um, they're militia. So roll a d6. What did you get? A four. So that gives you two points. Two? Uh, is that the only broken unit on yours? Because you. Oh, it is yes, because I got rid them. of it on um, on them. So yes, that right. was the only broken. So they'll be t removed. So let's do yours. Should we do this. Unit yep. So first? that's a trained unit. If you want to roll for them. Okay. So a trained unit. A four. Four. Is that? That's three. Okay. And then the other unit um, is your veteran unit, which up are here. seasoned, aren't they? Yes. Um, they're not. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure um, they're seasoned, aren't they? Yeah, do you want to, should we just check? Yep, seasoned. Seasoned, okay. So um, the minimum I can get here is a three. Robin's got the chart, the oh. one. So that's three. Okay. Um, then now we've got to go for additional victory points. Any unit that has disruption equal to the number of stands in the end phase. Right. Um, let's start over here and have a look. Don't, no, no. Uh, they're, they're, they're gone. They're gone. Yeah, because in my they're head I was fine. thinking disordered units, but it's not, is it? Because some they're of them have rallied. Fine, fine, they're fine. They're fine. They're fine, they're fine. No, so no, that's all right. Um, melees. And melees. So there's been there quite was a few. two for me. Yep. And you won one. Okay. Um, has there been any... Oh, we haven't rolled for... Um, we haven't won by three. Capturing... Oh, we never won by it's three. All been, it's all been small wins. Right. It's one all, by two. And it will be with infantry, won't it? It'll yeah. always be small wins. There's Massacre, Brigade wiped out, Divisional Commanders wounded. No. Okay. Let's... No Battlefield objectives got played. Um, how goes the day? Mm. So this is where we roll 2d6. Um, I add two. Robin's adding one. Uh, I'm on 11. You're on seven, seven, so it's not double, but the initiative stays with yeah. the British. 
Um, senior commander check, no. End of game check. Are either side's victory points now equal to or exceed the break point? Mm. That's a British victory. Oh, wow. You didn't get to even deploy your cavalry. I want to deploy my cavalry. What was it? What was So the... that's 18 victory points for you. Yeah. Uh, 10, 10 for me. And obviously my break point was... Slightly lower. Was 16. Was 16 and mine was 17. Right then. That is okay. right, isn't it? That's, if you yeah, get more victory it points... Just says, if either your... side's victory points now equal or exceed the enemy's break point, then the enemy army is defeated. Yeah. 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 Well, there we go. That was it. That was the first game of Soldiers of Napoleon. Um... Four turns. Right then, we're going to have a little tidy up and then we'll be back. Okay, so there we go. That was Soldiers of Napoleon. Um, I'm sure there's a few things there we may have got slightly wrong. Still got some questions about the skirmishers, um, but we just went with what made sense to us. If Obviously, if you guys know any different, drop it down in the comments below. Robin, you've been dying to play this <laughs> for however long it's been, 18 months. Imagine. And it's your first Napoleonic game. What do you reckon? I, just re I really enjoyed that. Even though... Was it only four turns? But because of the amount of things you do in a turn, loads happened. Yeah, it's there's a lot of a lot of ebb and flow as well. There was times where the whole battlefield almost went quiet because everyone was just rallying. <laughs> was rallying or just wondering what was going on. And there's never quite enough to do everything, which I really like. Yeah, you know, you're always you've got to make that if decision. If I had one more to... card, yeah. Or when someone catches but you out and you think you're gonna, I've got... it, and then you suddenly play that. Oh, I've got you. Oh, I've got this card, but I've got to use it to rally. Do yeah. I sacrifice this unit? I mean, I, did, I honestly didn't care about them. All, the, the, all the events are great, but they're also really quite situational and you mm. probably need to do something else. I, I wasn't quite sure about the battlefield objectives. I mean, the way they work, guys, is you play it face down. You know what it is and your opponent knows you've got an objective and you'll probably work out what you're doing. But if it was like advance through enemy lines, you move. if you just move, I think it was up to two units or something off yeah. the enemy side of the board, in the end phase, you'd reveal that and you get D6 plus three victory points. You could sneak a yeah, really early I think win. They're hard to achieve and you have to actually commit to doing them, but there's a yeah. massive payoff. I mean, what? So my break point was 16. You could have potentially got nine for doing one of the objectives. Yeah. But you have to really commit to, to doing, doing it. it. You would have to, you'd be bringing on your cavalry and just going, everyone's moving, ignoring everything else. And of yeah. course the other player is going to be, I know what you're doing. And you're just maybe reactivating the same brigade, putting disruption on, just trying to get them off the board. Um, how did you find the whole morale disruption taking, you know, really? at, that kind of system? Because when I read it the first time, I thought, God, units are going to be flying off the board, but they're not. No, but you have to make a, again, you have to make a conscious effort to keep them on the board. Yeah. But the disruption, it builds up quite quick from other things happening as well as just the shooting, isn't it? You know, especially when I'm in formation of yeah. two wide, my shooting's not super powerful no one obliterated a unit in one round of fire no it was really i loved i loved the sort of uh, the rally mechanic of uh withdrawing to get rid of one then rallying around the colors to see if you do get rid of something then optionally sacrificing people off um was fantastic i really really liked that um things that i i think that i need to do a little bit more clarification uh, Things like this seem a little bit odd to me, but I guess that's replaying other Napoleonic games where I'm like, these guys are just sitting around the flank. Should is there some kind of, a, you know, automatic, you know, facing, you know, that that's slightly odd to me. But then, I guess this is a a much part of the bigger battle. That's the whole point in the how goes the day roll because you've got stuff that's happening to the east and stuff that's happening to the west, and that's the the whole point of it. So yeah, it's much more zoomed in. Yeah, I'd want to double check commanders and. Should they be able to stop units or move out of the way of units? Because yeah. at the same point, you need to make sure they don't get threatened. And if you can move them out of the way of your own units, you can move them around without their own move being used. And that's a, that was a it didn't actually impact the game. It's just no. something I'd like to know. No, something the which I personally really enjoyed about this was the variable victory points for destroyed enemy units. How you know the militia, you know, might this unit militia when destroyed might be worth one, but the next one might be worth three. Um, a seasoned unit is worth more. Obviously, if you get rid of an elite unit of, say, the old guard... It's minimum you, five. Minimum right? five or something like that. But when you're army building, you, someone might say, oh, well, I'm just going to take two bases of old guard. But two bases of old guard are worth the same in victory points as a six base unit of old guard. Because the point is, you've driven off the old guard. It doesn't matter whether there's only it's the a effect, few of them. Or... Yeah. Your arm, victory points in this kind of... They're the effect on the unit next yeah. to them. 
I mean, I, when you did that huge cavalry charge over here, that was so thematic and it was great to see some cavalry do something and smash through. And then you played all of those cards in that right that order to really hate my militia. I kind of feel like militia. I think <laughs> you really get... Like, yeah, I mean, I probably should have tried and pushed that cavalry charge home, but I then had to use all my cards because you were wiping out my right... or disrupting my right flank a lot. I think you really get a... Um, like a cinematic thing of the battlefield because you feel like... This has probably all happened, you know, over uh, almost at once. But we zoomed in over here, and the cavalry were doing yeah. that great charge. Then we zoomed back in over here, where this unit was just getting attrited horribly in the middle. I did. I I got to say, I really enjoyed it, and I'd definitely. Well, would you play it again? Yeah, yeah, I definitely. Would. I might home. even finish painting my Bavarian. Are you going to go home and paint up your Bavarians <laughs> yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got plenty of French. I mean, I still this still, as I said to you, this represents about a third of each of the British and French armies that I have. So I think it was a good size game on this table as well. well. There was plenty of room to play. <laughs> Let's just say the thing. My my heavies, which yeah. are just over here, you guys can't see them. Um, never even made it onto the battlefield. So it's great again to see that and sort of an asymmetrical point you know forces game can work really well i mean i did do the kind of the british firing line i don't think i've gone further than halfway no. on the board um but i did never felt like i was being deliberately defensive i i did try to push things a couple of times but then there were um they're not called standing orders what are they called the oh uh, it's not tactical what orders. Is, um, it's, yeah the thing at the start of the game whether, whether you're in there's yes there's a there's a thing at the start of the game that you can do um which you can pick which is essentially like standing orders i can't remember what the the, the actual term yeah. is and you decide whether your army is going on all out attack steady advance or all out defense if you go on all out attack you uh, you get some bonuses to your tactical uh, role if you're going on all out defense you get some bonuses but i think you don't you get to like move some scenery around or so it's yeah it's your, oh it's your tactical order it's, it's what you're again it's that being that part of the bigger the bigger picture i mean could you, i can always imagine being able to write scenarios using the objectives and having to think there's some fixed objectives saying you have to okay you play yeah. the right flank of wherever, or maybe it's Hugamon or something like that, and the French have to be on all-out attack and the British have to be on Because defense, of what's happening or... in the wider battle. Yeah. So you could very easily, in, in this game, say uh, every building captured, if you've got a building at the end of the, uh, the, end, of the end phase, you get two points. Yeah. Just, just add it in. So that variable turn length, um, the fact that you know the game will end, and yeah. it's not really going to end in a draw. It'll always be a tactical victory for somebody. And you're also not quite sure you're definitely not sure when it's going to end either no no also the other thing um and i don't want to gloat but this breaks my winning oh, yeah, uh, no it's not winning i definitely haven't been my losing streak which has been happening for the last six months so um so i am pleased with that although it's a new game so you can always we can always blame that next time it won't be as good um guys we hope you enjoyed that this is something that we really really wanted to do certainly want to play again um mix up the armies a little bit maybe i'll take the french next time uh maybe robin will be back with his bavarians um anyway guys let us know what you're for what, what do you think of soldiers and napoleon plays very differently to some of the other napoleonic games are played on the channel um let us know what you think remember you know comment down below if you like the video like it uh remember to go and check out robin's channel uh miniature odyssey which is down in the uh the uh, description below along with the army lists um, and we'll see you guys again in the next one take care of yourselves bye bye